Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hit it. All right. Wakey, wakey, hands off, snakey. Rod Ryan Show checking in on this Tat Tuesday. Busy, busy, busy morning. Uh, Josh the Goat, huge morning for him, man. Can this guy uh, push it through? He's going for win number five, fresh out of bed, head-to-head challenge. I don't know. It'll be his, like, 15th time in the Hall of Fame or something like that. Someone's got to be able to give this guy a run for his money. We're going to play that game at around 620. A perfect circle tickets. We know that uh, Josh Freeze is going to be on drums for that, so we're giving away tickets. Uh, Fun fact, flashback is where you'll get those tickets. Third Eye Blind, yellow card. August 3rd, Woodlands Pavilion. We'll get you tickets at 720. Chili Brown. We play the Chili Brown game at 820 for the Bush Jerry Cantrell Candle Box tickets. We went from two to one concert announcements. One concert pushed back until next week. That's okay. The better of the two is announcing today at 9 a.m. And we'll give away the very first pair of tickets to that show. So join us for that concert announcement straight up at 9. And then we'll leave you with some Joe Satriani, Steve Vai tickets uh, on Know the Show. 10% chance of rain. Sunny skies. Highs up around 72. Good morning, Tessa. What are Houston's headlines? Hey, good morning, Rod, and good morning, Homer. We're actually going to start with a story that's going on in Baltimore. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but there's a massive response currently underway after a bridge collapse. It's the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. The Coast Guard, the fire, all the state agencies, there's a state of uh, emergency over there in Baltimore because there may have been 20 people thrown into the water when this bridge just breaks. And freezing temperatures, low visibility, hopefully they'll get some sunlight to help them uh, with this cause right now because it's making it really difficult for rescuers the fact that it happened um in at basically in the dark so we'll be talking about that this morning also i talked yesterday a little bit about um the ceo dave calhoun stepping down from boeing i just wanted to mention there are three senior executives and an aircraft manufacturer that are stepping down here in houston the family of the little girl who drowned in the swimming pool at a houston hotel over the weekend is filing a wrongful death suit i think we were all were kind of anticipating that um they found her after the pool was drained. Her her little body was su- stuck there. Um, so really tragic story. That's the big local one here. Let's talk about the sunshine. Do you ever battle sunshine guilt? A lot of people say they've dealt with it. It's when there's a string of days of bad weather and then boom, it's sunny. But you just don't feel like going out. I cannot relate with this. Early spring is prime sunshine guilt season. It's like one of these trendy terms like FOMO, bed rotting, things like that. But a woman on TikTok is blowing up after she said she was like having a perfectly okay day indoors until her sunshine guilt just ruined everything. I, 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 no, I can understand it, but yeah, I want to be outside if it's nice. I'm, I can't sit down. If I'm sitting down and the weather outside is like I can see the sun, Yeah, I, I, there's no way. I can't relax. Um, let's talk about something a little more serious because this was a big story yesterday as well. Uh, um, homes belonging to Sean Diddy Combs, uh, homes in L.A., in New York, in Miami, they were all raided by the feds yesterday. And there's no official word, but it probably has to do with all the sexual assault and trafficking allegations against him right now. So TMZ dropped some pictures and videos from the raids. Uh, just uh, Diddy's sons, Justin and King, they're in handcuffs. No one's saying they did anything wrong. They probably the cops were probably just doing it as a precaution. But, uh, yeah, there was a lot of action at the Diddy properties yesterday what is it trafficking that he's being charged with i believe so there's wow. uh, definitely sexual assault a lot of that uh but some trafficking allegations are in there as well so we'll talk about that today hey uh roger daltrey welcomed robert plant of led zeppelin pearl jams eddie vetter kelly jones of stereophonics and glenn hanser the swell season from the frames uh, they were all on stage to perform the Who's Baba O'Reilly. This was a benefit, a Teenage Cancer Trust concert, and it happened over the weekend, so there's some fan footage on the music blog page. Yeah, it just doesn't sound, you were asking me if I had a clip, and it just doesn't sound very good, so I'd just rather play you the real track. And then uh, Pete Townshend said that if you want to see the Who, you might as well wait for the Avatar show, so you can go read about that as well. done. Those are Houston's headlines. 
Take it, Alex. Well, the Rockets won their ninth straight last night. They uh, they trailed throughout the game, but they found a way to come back in the fourth and win it. Beat the Trailblazers 110-92. to It's their longest winning streak since 2019. Jalen Green had 27 points in the night to lead all players in scoring. Rockets are just a game and a half behind the Warriors for that final play-in spot to get into the postseason. They're going to have a day off today before they play the Thunder tomorrow night up in Oklahoma City. The Astros fell to the Sugarland Space Cowboys last night 3-1. to They're going to play one final tune-up game against the Space Cowboys. Cowboys tonight at Minute Maid before opening up the regular season on Thursday. First pitch is at 710. You can listen to that one on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. That is what's going on in sports. All right, let's go. 6 a.m. Welcome to Homeroom, everybody. If you want that first phone call, come get it. We're here. We're here, man. We'd love to hear from you. 713-212-5945. The most interactive show on the radio starts right now. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Starting out with the killers, it's always a great thing. Good morning. Hope you're off to a great start to your day. We don't have to worry about rain today, which is nice. I see nothing over a ten percent chance of rain. Sunny skies today and seventy-two. I will take that. 
Busy, busy show. Are you guys just going to let Josh just waltz right into the Hall of Fame again? Um, even though I think I was the guy on the air that said, yeah, I wouldn't call tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you did say that. I did. I'm like, yesterday, I said, I don't think I'd call on Tuesday. I'd wait till Wednesday to play. I don't no want No one will remember your name. You want to be the best, you need to beat the best. And he's the best. It's Josh the Goat. So he's going for win number five. He was not in the tournament last year, the tournament that Corey the Goat Hunter won. These two guys just ultra competitive against one another. So start thinking about it. If you want to get in here and play, man, and, and mix it up a little bit. We're going to give you those perfect circle tickets in homeroom. Um, Chili Brown game. Oh, all my stuff's in the car. I have it here. I gotta, I'm going to have to go run to my truck. Or, I'll go get it. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got all the peeps for tomorrow. Oh, I got, you went like a little Easter candy shop. I've got the, damn it, I forgot. I'm, I'm, I'm a little out of sorts today. And I, listen, I'm not going to be that guy that bitches about it all day. I have some kind of a bug. <laughs> I haven't, I'm not going to complain about it because I haven't been sick in a long, long time. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I picked up. I was I did go to the doctor yesterday. I don't want to blame it on his office. It's his he, fault. He keeps a pretty clean office over there. But the doctor got you sick. That's the opposite of what he's supposed yeah, to do. I know. Did you eat your apple? You should bill him. I Ooh, good idea. Woke up, had to wash my sheets this morning, just sweating all night like that. It's just awful. Just awful. And I haven't been sick in forever, but man, I feel like crap. So we'll get through it. I'm not gonna bitch about it all day. Don't worry about that. Um yeah, I have all the stuff. It's just in my truck. Um, so the Chili Brown game at 820 this morning, uh, Chili will be reading from It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown, and, uh, that he's going to win you some Bush Jerry Cantrell candle box tickets. Really cool concert announcement at 9 a.m. And of course we'll give away the first pair of tickets. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things that we got to hit, uh, this morning, including... Good morning, Rob Ryan Show. Good morning. Hey, who's this? That's Clay. Hey, Clay, how are you? Doing good, doing good. How you doing? Ah, uh, you know, I'm gonna get through it. I'm gonna fight through it. So, what? How are you gonna get us started on the first phone call today? Oh man, just get everyone motivated for this Tuesday. Got sunshine going. Yeah. I'm out here delivering fuel. I hear one of these big tankers. Are those things ever full to the top? When I see those big tanker trucks, I'm thinking of like the the big silver tubey looking thing, right? Is that what you're driving? Yes, sir. Okay. Do they do they fill those to the very top? Uh, sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. I can only imagine that water sloshing around or the, the gas sloshing around in there when you're braking and stuff. Does that affect your driving? No, these are baffled. So there's like five different compartments. So they don't slosh as bad. Okay. Because I sometimes I see these guys with these big, huge, I don't know what they are. These big cubes of plastic Water. Well, I've seen that. And maybe I it's like, it maybe it's power washing people that, that bring their own solution. Mm. And you see those yeah. things sloshing yeah. around and that's got to move your car around too. But you don't feel that when you're driving that big 18 wheeler. No, not on this one. I have drove the ones that they slosh you around. It's terrible. Yeah. You can feel it while you're driving. Uh, it kills your back and neck. Is there a camera inside of the tank? Oh, good question. Uh, oh, no, not the tank, but we got them inside the truck watching us at all days. Nice. I mean, I guess that's not nice. This whole conversation no, is like, nice. bro out. What's that? All these conversations, like, I... I would want to see inside the tank and be like, how full are we? What don't I've you understand? Never, well, I've never looked at a tank and been like, I wonder. Like, they're just... Yeah, I wonder if that stuff is just <laughs> sloshing around. And then when you go to break, it's like, boom, all that, like, gas, like, slams up against the back of the... Or the the front of the it. tank, and never it pushes you tank. forward. I'll never look at a tank the same. Yeah. All right, yeah. Clay, listen, yeah. man. How long you been you driving truck? for you? What's that? You want me to do the air horn for you? Oh my god! I think oh, that would make yes, my I think that yes. make, 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 make my right. tummy feel better. Just a minute. Go ahead. Yeah, dude. Awesome. I think I think that is gonna make me feel better. Thank you. Thanks, Clay. Roll safe, okay, brother. Keep the rubber side down. Yeah. I oh, yeah. Also wondered how terrified you have to feel, or how long you have to feel just terrified driving around with that truck that just has flammable contents on it because i would just be like i'm gonna blow up yeah and some dick in front of you throws their cigarette butt out the window yeah i would just be like you imagine this no (laughs) let me take a short break when we come back uh got a rec check uh we'll find out what's trending and then we'll get set up for josh the goat if he can do it again man he's going for win number five today yo what's up it's your brother rod 
Talking about my good friends over at Carbock. I told you I visited the Carbock Brewery this weekend, and it's just awesome. It's a, it's an amazing experience. The restaurant is phenomenal. I told you we went for a fish fry to take my sister over there. It is awesome, and I can't wait to do more and more and more with the guys over at Carbock and actually using that brewery. Now, Love Street. Love Street is what we're talking about right now, and I have not yet uh, been to the store to restock, but I absolutely need to restock after this weekend. When you go and get your beers, wherever it is you do pick up your beers, man, make sure you pick up some Carbox Love Street because it is a state of mind. And uh, we were drinking them this weekend, and everyone's in a great mood, man. Carbox Love Street, carboxbrewing.com, Love Street Blonde, music to your beer.
Okay, let's start on the east side this morning because there is an accident. It's blocking two left lanes, I-10 westbound at Waco. You're delayed about 20 minutes. On the north side, an accident is blocking a right lane on the and a right shoulder, I-45 southbound at Tidwell. Traffic is stopped from Shepard. The Hardy Toll Road is going to be your alternate route to get around this 10-minute delay. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Welcome back, Rod Ryan Show on this Tattoos Day. Beautiful day on tap, man. Ten percent chance of rain, sunny skies, high of seventy-two. Uh, we're making some adjustments here, getting ready for the game. But first, uh, Tess is going to tell us what's trending. Uh, the governor Arnold Schwarzenegger says he had a pacemaker put in. He has this um, irregular heartbeat. He, the, his pulmonary and aortic valves have been replaced already, but that doesn't last forever. So he had to uh, get them done, and then that pacemaker was just put in. He's seventy six years old, uh, but that's the Arnold update. In case you were looking for one. All right, yeah, uh, we got a link up for that. Also, uh, Bob Barker's mansion's up for sale. That kind of is a, a little trending story around. But there's also the floating door that saved Kate Winslet in Titanic, that went for like almost $720,000 at auction. Yeah. I mean, it's one of the biggest movie props of all time. Yeah, totally. And it's also one of the biggest movie controversies controversies like Jack and Rose could have both fit on that. So uh, there is actually a link where you can see all of the things that were in movies that went up for like pr- they were pretty big auction items like the whip from Indiana Jones, uh, the red rose bowling ball from Kingpin, Bill Murray's what oh. Bill Murray's ball- bowling ball that went for 350000 at auction. That is the coolest bowling ball ever. Pretty cool. Kingpin? Oh, my God. It's amazing. Pretty cool. And then, of course, our Tat Tuesday is the number one performing blog page right now. That's what's trending on 94.5 The Buzz. All right, well, the man's got a song. Play it for him. Good morning, everybody. It's Josh the Goat. I am your fresh out of bed, head to head, four day champion. Now keep in mind, I was not in the tournament last year, and I know I'm one day away from getting back into the hall. To everyone out there, I'm as hungry as ever. Join me on Tuesday as I make it win number five, bitches. I believe him when he says that. This is not just a walk in the park for him, and it means something to this guy to get back into that Hall of Fame or Hall of Fame to uh, to solidify why he's got his own song and why he's called the goat. What do you, what's your play here? What's your play here? You want to become a legend? Then call now. 713-212-5945 and beat them.
All right, 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning. Rod Ryan Show, lit miserable. <laughs> Can't relate. Happy Tab Tuesday, everybody. Beautiful day on tap. Sunny skies, 10% chance of rain. Highs of around 72. I don't want to waste any time. I want to get right into this game. Fresh fish. No. Fresh fish. Oh. This guy could become a legend today. An absolute stone cold legend. <laughs> Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, Rod. So you've been in the hole how many times? Eleven. Eleven times. More than anybody. More than anybody. One more than Corey. <laughs> yeah, he's been nipping at your heels for a while. So 11 he's times. up with me over the past couple of years. Eleven times in the hall. You didn't make it in yesterday, last year. You said you just couldn't get through. Did you play last year? I played, I played twice. And, and just, uh, I think I got through in April and I got through in August and I couldn't get back in after that. Hmm. Okay. And we know that you've won it twice, the year-long championship. So it's still the best record in the history of the game. And you win today 12 times in the Hall of Fame. That's outrageous in the 20 years we've been playing this game. Nobody has even, well, except for Goat Hunter, nobody has even taken a whiff at that. Now, what I have for you is Jason. Let's get his resume. Hello, Jason. Good morning. What's up, bro? You've never played before. No, man. I've been trying for years. <laughs> what, what do you think about this Josh the Goat guy? Can you beat him? Uh, I think, yeah, I think I could beat him. Why not? Why not, dude? Why not? Just come in here and kick his I mean, ass. I, I guess. I mean, if I have to. Uh, yeah, you do have to. Uh, what does Alex got here for you? Okay. A little fresh fish for you. Uh, Jason, shout out your name when you think you know the answer. You need two correct answers. I need you to really step up, okay? I need you to step up. Such a good coach, Rod. If I was right there, I'd be slapping you around in the face a little bit. Yeah, like okay? pouring water like on Like to him. wake up. You ready, Jason? All right. I'm ready. I'm asking the impossible of you. <laughs> but I think you can do it. Shout out your name when you think you know the answer. Jason, it moves quick, okay? Like, say your name. Say your name. I'm going to hear it. Say your name. Jason. Yeah, it's faster. Just like that. Faster. Say it faster. Go. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that. Josh, Jason, here comes your questions. You turn the music down, Rod? Oh, there you go. Thank you. Good call on that. Thank you. All right, here we go. Question number one. We're listening for Jason and Josh. What activity are you doing if you are in a marathon? Josh. Jason. Josh. You are running. You are running. You are running. Bell on the other side of the room. Uh, Jason. Yo. He got you on that. Yeah. I'll take your word on it. He did. <laughs> Is there any question in the room with anyone else? I'm going to keep my thoughts all to myself on this lovely Tuesday morning. Okay. Uh, Jason, he smoked <laughs> you on that. You got to say your name quicker. You ready? Yep. Okay. Josh, Jason, fresh fish, could become a legend today. What yellow food do Josh. you... Jason. Josh. 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 Mustard. Do you dip a corn dog into? Yep. Yep. Good game, Jason. Jason, I failed to motivate you. Yep. Not your fault, Rod. <laughs> Jason, why would you call on day five? I, I, am, I, I, just, I am utterly disappointed with myself, but I couldn't get. I'll you. get back in. I just, I felt, I was trying to get you on the, like on the, on your toes. I felt that you were on your heels. I was trying to get you on your toes. I just couldn't get it's you. Not on you. It's day five. It's a mm. Hall of Fame game. If you're calling. You should be ready to go. <sighs> yeah. Jason, Jason, do you think you would play again? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, just don't call when this guy's playing. <laughs> Yeah. All right. All right. All right, Jason, thanks for being on today. Hey, Josh. I'm excited. I get to uh, take off for eight months. Yeah. So, 
I know, like last year, you were probably stressed out. I know towards the end of the year, you were stressing. You couldn't get Can't through. Can't get through, yeah. So Popular now, game. So now you just got to chill out. You're in cruise control until the tournament at the end of the year, bro. And now 12 times in the hall. The Dirty Dozen. It's quite an accomplishment, dude. I appreciate Congrats. Thank you. I, I appreciate you hanging with us all those years, man. I mean, that's really, that's incredible. We have been playing this game the entire 20 years that this show's been on here in Houston. And being in the hall, 12 of those is silly. It's silly, man. Great job, dude. You're the best. Hey, appreciate it. Hang on.
94.5 The Buzz. Good morning. Rod Ryan Show. On this Tat Tuesday, March 26th, sunny skies today, 10% chance of rain, high of 72. Hit it! Ooh, fun fact. Remember, the song was written for another movie. Oh, yeah. Rocky? It was. Yeah. And uh, Sylvester Stallone went with Eye of the Tiger instead. Good call for both. Yeah, this is perfect for Fresh Out of Bed Head to Head. I agree. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is Josh the Goat. Getting into the Fresh Out of Bed Head to Head Hall of Fame for the 12th time. And starting now, I'm thinking of nothing but the Tournament of Champions until the end of the year. I will be the first person to be the first ever three-time year-long champion, bitches. Well, there you have it. We'll start with some fresh fish tomorrow, or maybe you've been waiting for your 30 days or whatever, but uh, that guy's in the tournament. Corey, the goat hunter's in the tournament already, too, so we're not going to hear from those guys. I mean, they'll be, believe me, they have a presence on the show at all times. Um but, yeah, let's get some more people in the hall, man. Do we know what number Hall of Famer he is? See, uh, the sheet, it says four, uh, but I think it's like five or six. It's four. It is? I have three other victory speeches in the okay. Hall of Fame folder. Okay, then four okay. it is. All right. A, a complete Final Four tournament. All right, let's go. Uh, former producer of the uh, Price is Right, he said that uh, they keep on the set emergency sweats, like sweatpants. They have different sizes mm-hmm. uh, in case a uh, contestant pees their pees pants. Their pants. I, I, I knew that. Yeah. So they've got this whole system in place. And he says he never seen it happen for the time that he's been there. But there's curtains set up. There's a curtained off area and a blow dryer and sweatpants just in case. Because they have to get on with the show. I would probably <laughs> not full on pee, but sometimes that jumping up and down will get me. Yeah, sometimes. All right. Uh, Hiram Maxim. Now, this was sent to me by Carlos A. He sent this in to me when we were playing the gun game, and I've been hanging on to it. Hiram Maxim invented the automatic machine gun. As a matter of fact, he went deaf from testing it. Dedication. And to bring it full... All the way around, years later, his son is credited with inventing the silencer. Oh. <laughs> because his dad went yeah, deaf. Yeah. How cool is that? from a need. Absolutely. It's amazing. Uh, Chichisbeo. I, I looked it up phonetically. Chichisbeo. The word for the male equivalent of a mistress. Chichisbeo. If your wife has a dude on the side, she's got a chichisbeo. I was going to be like, Scott Bayo related. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that does sound like Chachi Bayo. Right. Uh, all right, what are you giving away? Okay, so we have a perfect circle, Pacifer and Primus all on one stage at the same time. Woodlands Pavilion, a pair of tickets to the Say Santa show. All right. Uh, let's go here. What celebrity is terrified of revolving doors? Just a weird phobia, I guess. 713-212-5945. All right, let's go over to the phones here. Hey, Hal. Brother Rod, good morning. You didn't want to come near me this morning? Is that the problem here? I mean, I, I drove by the building. There was a green slime. <laughs> well, how'd we do on Wall Street yesterday? Gave a little back. The Dow was down 162 points. Kickoff this morning at 39,313. NASDAQ down 44 to 16,384. Benchmark 10 year treasury that trades at a 4.23%. And oil stands at $81.70 a barrel. Two of the most active the big studs Walt Disney, Amgen, and Boeing. The big duds, 3M, Intel, and Home Depot. On the economic calendar this morning, we'll get numbers on consumer confidence for March. Right now, futures looking good. They're on the upside. Hang on to this. There'll be a positive opening right here on Wall Street. That's it. I'm out of here. This is Sal Lynn, Manager Director with the Raymond James Point for the Rod Ryan Show. From Raymond James on San Felipe and Augusta. And don't forget to always rock out with your stock out.
Yo, what's up? It's your brother Rod talking about Serta Pro Painters. Use these guys for everything, man. Any paint project that I have, I'm not good at it. I don't want to do it. I want professionals to do painting. And let me tell you, they're great at it, okay? The power of timeliness. They show up when they say they will. Doing it right, the localness, the minimal disruption, man. It's just a win-win. Maybe it's time to refresh the paint at your business. Serta Pro paints residential and commercial properties. And each Serta Pro painter business is independently owned and operated locally right here in our community. So, Serta Pro painters, the power of pro. Schedule your free estimate at SertaPro.com. That's always going to be Serta with a C. Official painting partner of... Our Houston Astros.
I-10 East Freeway, Westman at John Ralston Road. Uh, there is There was a reported rollover accident in that area. So you have traffic from Greens Bayou and Westmont Drive. You're delayed about 25 minutes there. Um, let's talk about this accident on I-45, Gulf Freeway northbound at Scarsdale. That has stopped some traffic from Dixie Farm Road. Under a five-minute delay there, but pack a little bit of patience. Pack a little bit of patience there. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Welcome back, Rod Ryan show on this Tat Tuesday. Hit it. Let's see if we get a winner here. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Who's this? Hey, this is Nathan. How's it going? All right. Welcome to the show, man. Um, Thanks. We talked about Tyra Banks is terrified of dolphins. Johnny Depp is terrified of clowns. It was uh, Billy Bob Thornton is terrified of antique furniture. Yeah. Uh, who's terrified of revolving doors? Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. What is that about, man? I don't know if it's <laughs> trauma from something happening in the past or what, but uh, you are the winner today. What are you giving them? Dude, you're going to see a perfect circle, Christopher, and Primus at Woodlands Pavilion because you know the back fat. Yeah, brother. Yeah, bro. Awesome. Sounds great. I appreciate that. I appreciate have a good, good one. Thank you, Nathan. I appreciate you being on the show today. Great job. Here's Blink-182, 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Rod Ryan show on this Tat Tuesday. Six fifty-two. Sunny, ten percent chance of rain. High of seventy-two today. Clear skies tonight. No rain. It's awesome. 
Coming up on the 7 o'clock hour, I got Third Eye Blind tickets for you. They're playing with Yellow Card. That's the Summer Gods Tour, August 3rd, Woodlands. Chili Brown game, 8 o'clock. We'll play it around 8.20. Chili's rehearsing his lines. I just stopped in to check him out over there. He said he's rehearsing his lines. He's ready to go, meaning he's reading the whole book, I guess, just to get ready. He doesn't know what page you guys are going to pick. But uh, it's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. Not till 8.20. And then I got to get an update from him because I guess we got to pick our people today. Tomorrow, we're going to do Chubby Bunny in studio with uh, listeners visiting us in studio and playing the game. So that'll be fun. So we've got to figure out, we should probably get those people picked and ready to go. Concert announcement coming your way at 9 o'clock today with the first pair of tickets. It's a great show. I'm excited about it. Uh, let's go. What are Houston's headlines? Oh, this bridge. That's what I woke up to. It was breaking news, and they were just breaking it this morning. It happened at 1 in the morning or something. Baltimore. Yeah, I'm so I'm really uh, glad that the sun, you know, they're, they're ahead of us, so they're getting a little light over there. But Maryland in its entirety is under a state of emergency after that major bridge collapsed overnight. I'm talking about the Francis Scott Key Bridge. We have someone on the show. who You have ties to Maryland. Your dad was born there, Alex. Yeah, not Baltimore, though. But not Baltimore. But, you know, that's, again, the whole, the whole state. Are you familiar with this bridge? No. No? He was from Salisbury, Maryland. So, like, Salisbury Ocean City is pretty much gotcha. the so, part of Maryland we went to. So, this is what they're saying happened. You know, those big container ships, it hit the Francis Scott Key Bridge a little before 1.30 a.m. That, that sent it into the river below. Several people were on the bridge. And so, now, search and rescue crews are on the scene conducting operations. This is a bridge that carries traffic over the river. Um, I-69 traffic, I-695, first responders. Boats, emergency personnel, everyone at the scene, and uh, a team of structural engineers are going to be investigating the collapse of this bridge. This video is just, I mean, and I guess it's we don't, baffling. And I guess we don't know yet. I mean, everybody on that boat is being questioned just to make sure, was this an accident? Right. We and, don't know yet. And then, um, I mean, the waters are really cold. So 20 missing. Oh, in this 40 summer. some degrees yeah, on the water. Really, really, really cold water underneath. So it's not like you're falling into, you know. Galveston Bay or something like it's that. It's a huge bridge, man. It went into the water. It's okay. crazy. So, so that's going to be the lead story this morning. Um, and then another big story. This is the number one search on Google right now. Uh, Sean Diddy Combs, uh, homes belonging to him in Los Angeles and New York and Miami, they were all raided yesterday. So you had people, that, you had SWAT teams, you had um, people in ballistic uh, vests going in. The feds raided the homes. There's no official word, but it is linked to all the uh, sexual assault and trafficking allegations against Diddy, right? Um, you had TMZ on the scene. They have some pictures from the, the raids. They have a shot of Diddy's sons, Justin and King, in handcuffs. Nobody's saying they did anything wrong. Uh, cops could have just been doing it as a precaution during the raids. But again, P. Diddy has been accused of sex trafficking. He's been accused of non-consexual porn. The officers wouldn't have executed the warrant to gather any type of evidence or to um prove that and establish that a crime has been committed and that he is the person that committed the crime. I mean, they really believe that it's big enough that they're raiding his homes. Right. So they, um, have, they have something that we don't know. Right. And, and they're looking for more evidence, you know, so that's what's going on there. Uh, let's switch gears here and talk about some other stuff. Uh, Trader Joe's. I hadn't been there in a while and I ran into one over the weekend. I said, let me pop in. Let me pop in. And I got so many things. Um, there was a price jump on their bananas for the first time in 23 years. They just upped the price of a single banana. Has anybody on this show purchased one banana? I have. What? Yeah, dude. I would run in. I live by a Trader Joe's. I would run in. They're 19 cents. They were 19 cents. Now they're 23. Um, but you bought it, one banana. Yes, dude. I just need one. I need one like for a snack before a workout. Grown ass woman, one banana. Grown ass woman who knows the other ones are just going to rot on my counter. Okay. Self-aware enough to know that I'm only eating the one. Uh -huh. I need it now or I need it for a recipe and not going home, like picking, like grabbing it going somewhere else. Like you're standing in line with a banana in your hand and some loose change? No, not just one banana. I would have probably gotten like a like a salad. They had these really good to-go salads okay, there. Like so I would go in there for like a lunch. Yeah, I would just like buy a single banana. Ever just bought the banana and nothing else? No. No, not <laughs> that. I never parked. I've never pulled into a parking lot, parked, well, I can went go for into a banana some right now. Just one. And just like get one banana anywhere. <laughs> Trader Joe's included. You know what would be perfect right now? One banana. <laughs> Just one. one banana would really That's hit. It. I want the edge off. I want remember, nothing else. But do you remember that um, it was like an article released some time ago, and it was like one banana can power you through 90 minutes of exercise. So in my little workout brain, I'm yeah. like, all I need. 
it's one banana, and then I'm going to go work out. But they got you on some other things. Oh, yeah. Always. Always. Like kombucha, their little pre-to-go. But anyway, so this is a 21% increase. It's also just four cents more. But even Trader Joe's says, look, due to rising costs, um, we get them in bulk, and we have to raise our prices. I've seen this story everywhere. It's so funny. I didn't know that one banana cost 19 cents, or now it's 20-some cents. I had no idea. I didn't know you could buy one banana. But, I mean, why wouldn't you? I just never <laughs> thought to buy one banana before. It seems weird. And everyone's baking banana bread, banana you pudding. Need, you need two, three bananas for a banana bread. Yeah, I know. You just don't need one banana for anything. Hey, let's talk a, if you're a psycho. Let's talk a little bit more. <laughs> check, check. Um, <laughs> Rebel Wilson has some beef going on with Sasha Barrett and Cohen. Uh, Borat, he says... She is he she says that Sasha is a massive a-hole who has been trying to stop her from writing about him in her book. So yeah, she's you, got a whole chapter on him in her, her upcoming book. They worked together back in 2016. It was the Brothers Grimsey, which is a comedy. And she says, in, well, in an interview she did like a decade ago, she says he was constantly harassing her on the set. He was constantly doing stuff to make her like get naked. In one scene, he even tried to make her uh Stick a stick a finger up his up his booty. He said they actually compromised by having her slap his naked butt talks. And here's what you have to understand. They're both comedians. So they're both very funny people. But he says she says he went too far. But is anybody co signing this? Like, yeah, we saw this behavior. Or I mean, is it just Borat and all the stuff he's done, I feel like he may not be the easiest person to work with. He's a method guy. Yeah. You know, he might have been yeah. staying in character. I'm not I'm not excusing him. Right. I, my question would be. Was it always behind closed doors that he was doing these inappropriate things? I mean, there's a ton of people at all times on these movie sets. Right. It would be easy for her to get someone to say, yeah, I saw it. Well, she says that she's uh, being, well, like, she's like, I'm not going to be bullied by your high-priced attorneys, by your PR crisis managers. And then Sasha, uh, he's on the record for denying these claims. His rep is like, look, we get the importance of speaking out, but these claims are false. So they have two completely contradictory stories. Yeah. Um, So, yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with that. Is that on the Looking Girls blog page? It's got its own blog page because it's a really big story. Yeah. It, it's that's These another two one that's pretty big celebrities, right? Yeah, that's another thing that's kind of everywhere. Okay, uh Courtney Love is looking to conquer the small screen. She is set to host a new BBC series, Courtney Loves Women. The new show will take a look at her life and her career and the women that have influenced her. Some of the stories she will delve into include um a poem during her Mickey Mouse audition that she did, hanging with Debbie Harry at the Playboy Mansion, trying to play matchmaker for Stevie Nicks and Billy Corgan. Uh, the first four episodes drop on the BBC April 8th with additional episodes dropping throughout the month. Month, so those are Houston's headlines. She tried out for the Courtney Love tried out for the Mickey Mouse Club. It's not wild. <laughs> wow. She's like smoking in the Mickey Mouse bathroom. <laughs> Tracks up and down her arms. <laughs> right, what's, what's in sports? You're not exactly Mickey Mouse material. <laughs> no. Um, Rockets won their ninth straight last night. They beat the Trailblazers 110 to 92. It's their longest winning streak since 2019. Jalen Green had 27 points in the night to lead all players in scoring. Rockets are now just a game and a half behind the Warriors for the final play in playoff spot. Uh, for the final spot in the play-in tournament. Uh, Astros fell to the Sugarland Space Cowboys last night, 3-1. to one. They're going to play one final tune-up game against the Space Cowboys tonight at Minute Maid before they open up the regular season on Thursday. First pitch for that is at 7-10. You can listen to it on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. That is what's going on in sports. Okay. I got some Third Eye Blind tickets for you coming up at around 7-20. Stay with us.
An accident's walking two left lanes on I-10 East Freeway westbound at Waco. This is a 20-minute delay because two left lanes are blocked. So take the East Sam as an alternate route here. Um, yeah, westbound at John Ralston. I believe this is the same accident. So East Sam is going to be your alternate. It's a rollover reported there. Be aware of that. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz.
94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Ooh, we're getting right into that? Well, let's get into that in just a moment. <laughs> Keep that right there. Keep that right there. I'm excited. Uh, we're playing the Chili Brown game next hour, So, but I, I did want to check in with Chile to see how we're doing on some of the other things this that we wanted. Excited, uh, you're excited, huh? Yeah. Anytime you can get your twin in here. Hold on. Yeah, I just like hanging out with him, you know? Just I know, like, hold on a little bit. I know you don't like him being so far I away. <laughs> uh, welcome to the 7 o'clock hour, everybody. 7.08. If you're carrying over from homeroom, thank you. If you're just joining the show, wakey, wakey, hands off, cupcakey. Sunny skies today, 10% chance of rain, high of 72. Thank you, Tessa, for running down to my truck to get all the uh, supplies. My pleasure. I, it was I, actually nice having a little walkie poo. I left them in my truck. So yesterday I went and bought uh, jelly beans for the chili brown game today, and I was able to find just traditional Brock's jelly beans. I, w- I was thinking, I mean, I don't want to do that to my guy. Is, is there one person that likes the spicy ones? They're like ass. The spicy. Spicy jelly beans. There's two different kinds. Like ca- the cinnamon ones? There's just, they're called spicy. There's spicy jelly beans, nah. and then there's the regular jelly beans. Jelly beans are already so on the cusp of like not being they cool always, at all. Only if they're not jelly bellies, I'm kind of not in the in well party the, with those them. weren't around when I was a child, so they would always be kind of loose. Ugh. Jelly beans would always be. My mom would probably just like a well Easter bunny would throw a huge handful uh, in a eat, plastic egg. It, no, it was just loose in our baskets. We had we had baskets with the phony green. Yeah, or grass. pink grass, and yeah. then we got. We had to go look in the house for our Easter baskets. Oh, fun! We had to go look so around we, the house in the morning. Easter Bunny kind of hit them somewhere, so there'd be usually one big piece of chocolate. Okay. Hollow. Okay, naturally. <laughs> hollow. Naturally. Cheaper, way cheaper. Um, peeps that nobody would eat. Yeah. And then like random jelly beans thrown in there. Just so wild, and every now and then they'd be spicy. I'm like, ah, yeah, spicy tastes like crap. So my relation to jelly beans was we the Easter Bunny would always leave baskets at our front door, uh-huh. and then we would go to church to get them blessed. Because oh yeah, you got to get your basket blessed. That was a couple of years. What? Yes, dude. You we had to do that. My dad, my dad, to church, dude. Dude, my dad walked in with the ham, Polish sausage, the 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 Weber's mustard, and everything. Yeah. My dad had to carry a huge did basket. Everybody do that? Oh yeah. Did, oh, they no. Rod's family they would bless their whole meals. Do you take a yes. wagon? Church. We weren't allowed to eat any of our candy. We had to go to church. What's we had the to get. Point to this? We had to get straight with Jesus, and okay. then he'd be throwing the water on all of us. Boom, boom, yeah, boom. Yeah, yeah, he'd be yeah. walking around, and you had to get the candy blessed on Easter Sunday. And then again, my dad had a huge basket. But did all the other dads also have huge baskets? Yeah, I don't think. What do you think? The Ryans were the only weirdos. I don't know. The way you made it seem like your dad was the only one carrying a basket. Like, did everybody just bring wagons? Like, what, that seems no ridiculous. I don't remember any wagons back then? I just remember like a lot like of basket full of food. The, the bread that you were going to eat that day. Taste the basket. Everything. All the seasonings and stuff like that. I don't think like seasonings. Salt, pepper. I, I know mustard. Nah. And Polish sausage and ham. It was definitely in that big basket. Confetti eggs were those blessed. We, they uh, should be. We definitely brought eggs. Those are cascarones. Hard-boiled eggs, not okay. confetti eggs. But yeah, the food that we were going to eat had to be blessed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did not have that Easter experience. When you did an Easter egg hunt, did you hunt plastic eggs or confetti eggs or cuz so, so my point was we would ones. do a, a Easter egg hunt and some of those plastic eggs they would have jelly beans in them. Those were the worst ones to find. I'm like, what do you want? Is there a I... diamond ring? Sometimes they well, have money. No, yeah. Sometimes yes. they'd have, they'd have like exactly. 75 cents Close. or a dollar. Yes. And you're like, oh, yeah. Dollar bills. Okay. Dollar, I didn't, dollar bills. I didn't do that as a child. I did it as a, an adult for my child. Yeah, nice. You know, we do that, but I we didn't do that. They Easter had a egg hunt in the dark. Like I live, I live by a church. My apartment is, and I was walking my dog over the weekend, and they had on Saturday night a glow in the dark Easter egg hunt. So fun! And yeah. like that church parking lot has never been that packed, and I was so hyped for those kids. They were playing like disco music and That's stuff, and you could cool. see the like, like neon EDM colored Easter. lights. Well, it's cool. It is the uh, <laughs> let's not you know the reason for the season is the Riz. It, it's the Jesus. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the holiest. Jesus. Holiest week of the year. Yeah. Palm Sunday was just on Sunday. Yeah. We used to, we used to always go and get our palm. I didn't get my palm this Sunday. Mm-hmm. I was in Fredericksburg. You get your palm. I didn't get my palm. <gasps> Not red. Uh, it's a no, the like, palm tree. Uh, you get like a, a cross. Of, a palm tree. I didn't know if it was a Ash Wednesday situation where they. Yeah, those are the big cross on your palm. That was big Ash Wednesday, and then Palm Sunday was last Sunday, where you get like just a palm frond. Okay, you bring that home, and you know you'd put it like at a I don't know, like a picture of Jesus. You'd like I don't know, put it 
attach it somehow to the picture. Here you go, Jesus. Um, like Catholic Easter is just so different. Oh, it's a lot. It's the biggest week. It's, it's, it's yes. like a thing, Alex. It it pales. Like Christmas. Christmas is, is two. Yeah. Like Easter is the biggest Catholic thing of the year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas it's is one. two. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 he's. Yeah. Because you have Good Friday. This is the thing. Good like Friday, his birthday, yeah. one thing, but him rising. I mean, that sealed yeah, the dude. deal. I mean, he came back from the dead. I get it. Yeah. Chili. Got to celebrate that. Um. I mean, all I this Jesus it. talk, but are we doing peeps? How many did people apply for uh, Chubby Bunny? It's very low. It's very low. It's very low? Like, yeah. I should tell people to go to Links and Guests yeah. if, if they want to come in and join us in studio. Um, I'll, uh, I'll finagle the ticket situation. Maybe that will get them excited. If you would like to join us in studio tomorrow, you have to be here at 630, and you would be on the air with us, and you would be playing Chubby Bunny. With the peeps in the mouth and all of that. That's going to happen on the air at around 720, but you need to be here at 630. If that's something that you want to do and come down and say hi and hang with us a little bit, uh, love to have you in studio. Um, and we'll take care of everybody that comes in. We'll take care of everybody that comes in with something. Um, but, yeah, obviously, if you're the winner of Chubby Bunny, you'll win a great prize. And we have so many concert tickets here, so don't worry. We will reward you handsomely. Um, Chili has a sign-up on links and guests right now on the world-famous Rod Ryan Show page at thebuzz.com. Come on. Okay, let's talk about Diamonds Direct because no one stands their product behind their product quite like Diamonds Direct, right? They're not your average jewelry store because it is totally one thing to just get a good price on something, but for something this important in life, you need to know you can count on the people you're buying from. So Diamonds Direct, you get a no questions asked money back guarantee on any purchase. That's rings, pendants. Um, you get a nationwide price guarantee, nationwide price guarantee. You get a free lifetime warranty and Diamonds Direct gives you 110% diamond diamond upgrade guarantee. So if you buy a diamond now and a year from now, you're like, okay, I want to trade this in for something a little bigger, a little more razzle dazzle. Diamonds Direct will give you 110% of your original purchase price toward that larger stone. So if you paid 4,000 for the first one, you'll get $4,400 toward the larger stone when you do that upgrade. That is called standing behind what you sell. That's why I'm such a huge fan of Diamonds Direct. I mean, that among a million other things. But Diamonds Direct, they just get it. No games, no hype, no pressure, no risk. They want to give you a diamond education. They want you to come back um, when you decide to upgrade that diamond. So it's the best selection, best value, best warranties, total package over there at Diamonds Direct. You can get showroom hours, directions, and even shop online at DiamondsDirect.com. Yo, what's up? It's your brother, Rod, with a great Boost Mobile deal to keep you connected and help you make the most of your tax refund. When you switch to Boost, you're going to get four lines for 100 bucks. all right, plus four free 5G smartphones like the Samsung Galaxy A15 or the Moto G Stylus 5G, bringing you the best phones, America's largest 5G networks. Switching is easy. Just head to your local Boost Mobile store for four lines, four phones, $100. Visit BoostMobile.com for details. New customers only. Requires auto pay, ID verification. Other restrictions apply. See participating dealers for details.
Okay, an accident's cleared on the West Park Tollway eastbound before Hillcroft, but there's still a nine-minute delay from the West Sam Tollway. Uh, I, not I, uh, yeah, 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 here we go. Let's go to I-45 northbound at the 610 South Loop. That accident is cleared, too. There's a 20-minute delay, though. Take Highway 3 if you're traveling northbound uh, to the South Loop. Highway 146 northbound at Ferry Road. An accident's reported there. Packs and patients. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan show. What is that Gwen Stefani song with? Uh, Woo! Oh. Woo! Who's that guy? It was on everything Sweetest for a while. Thing. Uh, the guy was on everything. Sweet escape. Well, that rapper Akon. was on Akon. Was on everything for a while. Wiggins. That was his girlfriend's ringtone. That thing used to go off during the show. I would like, dude, fix that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be talking on the air. I hear. I'm like, dude, nice. what could she possibly need right now? Nice. <laughs> 10% chance of rain, sunny skies, highs of around 72. What's trending? One banana? Hashtag, nope. hashtag one banana. No, dude. Are no. you like tired of me talking about the Powerball? Uh, yeah, because nobody's won. It's rolling I over guess. again. The jackpot's rolling over again. No grand prize winner last night. Next Wednesday, an estimated $865 million up for grabs. Meanwhile, the Mega Millions drawing tonight over a billion dollars. Just FYI, these, guys. Are these FYI. in record-breaking territory, these now? They're I mean, close. these numbers? They're close. Okay. Um, and then, hey, what's the what's the Shohei Otani update? He says he never bet on baseball, never asked anyone to do it. Are we believing this, Alex? He already said on, like, Friday that he was trying to help his friend pay off gambling debts. Then his legal team came in and were like, actually, no, that didn't happen. That was it was stolen. It wasn't him trying to help pay off gambling debts. So like whatever he says is a lie. He's just trying to get out in front of it right now. Don't yeah. don't trust this man. Don't trust but this guy. Is he bulletproof though? Probably because he's the MLB's golden boy. But just know yeah. that if this was an Astro, he would be probably like put Fine to death for life. Jose Altuve right. would be on the electric chair today. You're right. You're okay. right. Um, and then Chick Fil A backtracks on its no antibiotics and chicken pledge. They said to keep up with demand, they are dropping that um, that standard. So extra antibiotics. I, I guess I guess so. Out. I mean, they're not the first to do this. Tyson has done this before, but I mean, they they really set that standard for themselves, and now they're like, okay, expected um, supply chain issues. We're 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 walking that back. That's what's trending on ninety four five The Buzz. All right, what you giving away? I have a pair of tickets to see Third Eye Blind on their Summer Gods Tour with Yellow Card and Arizona. I'll take caller number 10, 713-212-5945.
All right. Imagine Dragons, it's time. Rod Ryan Show. Tat Tuesday. It's our Instagram feature today. Um, oh, yeah, about- that's doing well. I was too busy complaining about Chick fil A. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, about it. Uh, yeah, that is our number one link today. The Looking at Girls blog page is packed. Uh, lots of stuff on there. Uh, the girl, I think it's her first time being featured on there from the Who's Your Daddy podcast. Alex Cooper. Yep. It's the first time she's ever been on. Call look, her daddy. Look, Call her daddy. Okay. Yeah, it's the first time she's ever been featured on the Looking at Girls blog page. See what she's up to. Okay. Do, 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 do. An hour from now. Well, we'll, we'll be well into the Chili Brown game. Uh, an hour from now. Chili Brown. Uh, it's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. He'll be reading uh, from the <laughs> Charles Schultz classic okay. with some jelly beans in his mouth. Okay. That's how you're going to win your Bush Jerry Cantrell candle box tickets. All I'm looking for is caller number 10 right now for the Third Eye Blind tickets. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Who's this? Hey, it's Bill. Oh, Bill, you're caller number 10. All right. Tessa, hook him up. Oh, dude, Bill, here, take these tickets, go to the Third Eye Blind Summer God Store, Yellow Card in Arizona. It's going down at Woodland Pavilion August 3rd. Congratulations, man. All right, thank you all so much. Man, thank you, Bill. I appreciate you being on the show today and listening. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Chili says that uh, we still need some more people to sign up. If you want to come down and join us in studio tomorrow, uh, if you can, maybe you're not working, or if you can maybe go in a little later or something, but I'd love to have you in studio with us to play the Chubby Bunny game. Uh, We haven't had in-studio guests in this studio. Not for a game. We've had people come by before when we're off the air, but we've not had in-studio guests. And that is a shame. Yeah, so we need to step that up. So I want to do that tomorrow. Uh, Chili's looking for you to sign up on links and guests, and then uh, we got to get squared away. We want to get you in here tomorrow and and play with us for some great tickets. And uh, we have a concert announcement coming up. Maybe we'll throw those tickets in there. Uh, I know that we're going to concert announcement at nine and give away the first pair of tickets. Alex, you've mentioned this before, and and I know you're joking, but then I also sometimes when you say things, you. Sometimes you come across as you were kind of half serious about it. Hmm. That's the bit. One of <laughs> one of the top Google searches for how to sell is feet pics. Yeah, dog. Yeah. Now, have you and Emma ever talked about this? Oh, we have many times, and I continuously for get real? shot down. I get shot down. So, Tessa, what do you know about Feet Finder? Dot com. Uh, I know that's where chicks go to put up pictures of their feet and dudes pay for it. Like OnlyFans for feet kind of? It's OnlyFans for feet. It's free money. Okay. Feet finder. <laughs> free money. They're for the taking. So you'd be cool with dudes just shagging themselves looking at your chick's feet? You're good with that? Uh, I don't want to watch it. No, no, no. Of course I mean, not. I I love my wife. I think she has a fantastic feet. It's just not yeah, my yeah. thing. It's not my thing. Feet. I'm not a foot guy. Right. So I was like, if you wanted to make us a little extra money, we got a child on the way. Mm-hmm. You start a college tuition, maybe we could start start working on that. Emma's got nice feet. I I think they're fantastic. <laughs> they're fantastic. Have you had a discussion about this? Yeah, and she says no every single time. <laughs> I'm like, I'll run it. You just like you're like, hey, hey I'm, I'm hopping into the shower. Like, All right, let me know when you're getting out. There's just there's snap and pick done. I every All day right. I get, hey, do you want to interview this person? Do you want to interview this person? This is what just came in. Okay, how to sell feet pics is amongst the top search terms when searching how to sell on Google. Uh, Makes sense. Monthly search volume of thirty eight thousand. Wow, thirty eight thousand. How to sell feet pics? So the experts over at Feet Finder, they're here for us. If we ever want to talk to them, we can speak with the people over at Feet Finder. Uh, here's, here's the important tips to help users selling feet pictures to avoid being scammed. Don't give out personal details. Okay. Set clear terms and conditions. Avoid falling for unrealistic deals and only send your picture after receiving a payment. And of course they go into all these different things. Um, yeah, I mean, if I had a chick, I'd be cool with her selling feet pictures. Right. Just, it's an extra income, you know? As long as it, that's all it was. That's it. That's it. But yeah, then, like he has a hard boundary, like after the ankles, like you're mine. Weird. But what, I mean. Not that there's anything wrong with liking feet. What if he wants a picture of her foot and a can of cream corn? You're good with props? I think we could work on that, yeah. <laughs> like if it's just feet, like I'll be like, if you want to put your foot in stuff, that's fine. Like, if you, hey, well, put, put your foot in this thing of, of tapioca. Okay, I, cool, done. I would draw the line on that. I'm talking about just a can of cream corn well, on how the, much we talking by her like, feet. 
Not like, not her feet in it. I, think I don't think I, like dip it in the corn and it's an extra fifty dollars. I can't do that. Yeah, it's fifty dollars to go in the corn. It's a hundred well, bucks. Start off, yeah, that's you one. Start off at fifty, and then you then you keep increasing. Right, it. you got to start off at the bottom. You're like an intern. But if my chick's sticking her feet in cream corn and taking pictures. That's 150 bucks extra. I'm fine with that eventually, but we gotta get we gotta establish like a base first, you know. Yeah, you gotta value your company. You gotta let them think, okay, I'm getting a good deal. Like the first one's fifty. One hundred dollars. One hundred dollars every inch above the foot. No. How high do you allow I mean, it? I think, Up to I the think knee? Just about like the foot's it. We're but, not going above the foot. We're not yeah, going he knee. Has, but he what has his, we're not showing off legs. Here's five hundred bucks for a little calf. Just, no, it's a foot. Five hundred. This, this is a foot. You're thing. changing. We're it. gonna make plenty of money. The calf, with just feet. I want to see the calf attached to the foot. Enough people like just feet. You're drawing that the line. You could make bank on only feet. You don't have to do anything else. Do I need to buy calffinder.com? If you wanted to, I'm sure there's people that are into that. <laughs> How are your calves, Tessa? Oh, dude, I got, sick, I, got, I got sick calves. I got You got sick calves? I got good legs. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, I do. I had a bar class yesterday, completely all on tippy toes. Calves, yeah. worked out, healthy. You're not down for this, selling pictures of your feet? I would be if I wasn't in the public eye. I, I, I This would be my side hustle. No one would ever know about it. I would keep it to myself. No, would, you wouldn't. I, you no, don't I keep sh- anything to yourself. But that's why I'm in this business. This is why I'm here. You blabbed everyone. That's why I, I know. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I can't stop talking. I can't stop telling on myself. I can't stop talking. So no, I'm All out right. on the foot stuff. I'm out on. That's why I don't do apps or anything. And I don't like judge people that do it. But for you me, make your money. You know? I do. For me personally, nah, not okay. gonna do it. Well, if if they're there for us, they said they'll come on anytime we need to talk to them. This is the kind just of thing give me that. Give info. Let me <laughs> yeah, just send it to Alex. He'll get it together. Emma, I'm not sending it to him.
94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan's show on this Tattoo Tuesday. Uh, the band is uh, holding firm, some 41, that this is going to be their final tour. They're going to tour through 2025, and they just added eight dates, maybe, and they're going to finish in their home country of Canada, and then that's it. They say that they are done. So I, I don't know. I, I haven't been following closely. I don't know if Derek has is continuing to have health issues. He's had some really bad health mm-hmm. issues in the past. Um but, I mean, right now, this new album and stuff, it's great. I've heard three, four songs off of it. They're at the top of their game right now. And, uh, and they're again, I don't believe anybody that says they're going to be done. The one band that I always gave credit to, the only band that retired and stayed retired until recently, was the band Slayer. And, okay. they, and they took the money. They, they're playing. It doesn't mean they're not retired, but they took five gigs, I think, this summer. And they just couldn't turn down the money. You know, you got this promoter that says, listen... This is what you're leaving on the table. Five shows. That's it. Right. You guys get together. You practice a little bit. You go do the five shows. And then, boom, it's a money grab. So no one's ever retired. We'll see. We'll see. Sunny skies today. 10% chance of rain. High of 72. Uh, No names. Rod, back in my restaurant days, there was a regular. He paid one of the waitresses $200 to come to his house. Oh, this is going to be good. He would lay on the floor naked. She was fully clothed. He would videotape ankles down. Her and a friend walking on them. 200 bucks a girl. Nice. Weirdos. I've come a long way with feet over the years. Yeah, you're into them now? Uh, or not, I, not in. Not, not all the way in. Into them. But I'm not as put off as I used to be in the past. Right. I was kind of an anti feet guy. Okay. Now I'm like, yeah, they're there. Yeah. Cool. I'll hang out with them a little bit. Cool. <laughs> Congrats. Uh, some guy said that there's websites with toe cleavage. Toe cleavage? Yeah. yeah. It's when your toes are stuffed into the like the shoe, but you can see the lines of the toes. Outside, like toe cleavage, exactly what it sounds like. Okay. Just like boob cleavage, but toe cleavage. Can he you said he's separate into that. all your toes. Can you go like like make a like a separation, move all the toes I think, independently? I think so. Okay. I don't think I can move. No, I cannot move them independently. I can not independently, sh- but like spread them out. Like they're all they're together. They're as you are resting, and then you pick them off the floor and. spread Spread them out. I'm kind of trying to do it right now. I've lost complete control. I have no, my pinky and my last two toes can't move them. They're like, because of all the heels I wear, uh-huh. I don't think, uh, I don't think those have movement. I'm trying to, I'm trying to invigorate those bad boys back. Got a toe spacer. Doing some I got, feet. I've been to the toe spacers too. I got this balance beam thing I've been using. Yeah. The game changer once you can start using those. Yeah. I got to get that back. It's like important. You're really gripping the ground. It's important. Rod. I'm so glad Fee Finder sent me that, e- that email. Toe health. <laughs> Toe <laughs> health, I'm into it. There's like a ton of people eating breakfast right now, and we're talking about feet all morning long. Some Everyone like eating that. later should <laughs> p- test if they can move all their toes apart, because if you can't, you need to work on that. I'm going to try Break up later. some fascia. I don't know if I can do that or not. Yo, what's up? It's your brother Rod talking about my good friends over at Joe Myers Toyota. It's always been family first over there. Since the 80s, Joe Myers Toyota has been a family dealership committed to the employees, customers, and of course the community. At Joe Myers Toyota, they make it easy, stress free. That's what you want when you're looking for a new vehicle or a used vehicle. They got low money down, favorable financing options for well qualified buyers, Camrys, Rock and Roller, Corollas, Tundras, Tacomas, Highlanders, Sienna Vans, Ram 4s, 4Runners, Gas Hybrid, you name it, they got it. Shop them 24-7, JoeMyersToyota.com, or call 281-890-8700. Five or more available. All finance offers on approved credit. See Joe Myers Toyota for details. Expires 4 one
An accident's cleared on I-10 East Freeway Westbound at John Ralston Road. Uh, stop and go from Greens Bayou. Take the ESAM as an alternate route if you want to avoid a little bit of traffic. Guys, the map just lit up. There's stop and go all over the city, okay? Um, you know that connector ramp, 610 West Loop, the northbound connector to the Southwest Freeway at 69. That is closed. That's going to be going on for about three months, so extra traffic in that west side area. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. the buzz. Limp Biscuit break stuff. Rod Ryan show. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close to Chili Brown game. Next hour, uh, our man Chili reading from It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. Uh, He'll be reading from a uh, select page. You will guess how many jelly beans. Standard jelly beans. I mean... Take a look at that. Is that a standard jelly bean to you? Yeah, it is. Everybody knows what a jelly bean looks It's not jelly bellies. Those are tiny. Those are little. This is the old school standard Brock's jelly beans. Yes. So that's giving, giving you an idea of uh, what he's going to be putting in his mouth and doing some reading for us. So that's going to come up closer to around 820. I told you we got a big concert announcement coming your way at 9 o'clock. We got sunny skies today. Low chances of rain, high of 72. Test it with Houston's headlines. Okay, so we're going to start with Maryland because the state is under a state of emergency after a major bridge collapsing overnight. A container ship hit the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore a little before 1.30 a.m. That sended the span plunging into the river below the Patapsco River. Several people were on the bridge, and search and rescue teams are on the scene. Again, first responders, you have fireboats, you have emergency personnel all 
all there uh, trying to recover. I think there may have been 20 people thrown into the water, at least according to reports. And as you know, the freezing temperatures of the water, low visibility for when it happened. So that was making it really hard on the rescuers initially. This is a 1.6 mile bridge and uh, a major thoroughfare that carried the Baltimore Bearway over that river. So uh, we're going to be monitoring that. That's the biggest story of the day. Here in Houston, that family of that little girl who drowned in the swimming pool of a Houston hotel over the weekend is now filing a wrongful death suit. You have this eight-year-old girl that was reported missing yesterday afternoon, excuse me, Saturday afternoon while she was swimming with her family at the Doubletree on the Northwest Freeway. That's near Pinemont. Uh, They found her body on Sunday morning after the pool was drained in a pipe. Her family has filed suit yesterday against the hotel and its parent company. Uh, Yeah, so what I was getting from reports this morning was that the family said, hey, we want to see the security footage. I mean, right away. And I'm like, we can't do that until the cops come. So they're, you know, taking their time. The family, meanwhile, freaking out. You, I mean, you know, if you lose a kid for a minute, that is a lifetime. That is a lifetime. Oh, your so heart goes, the, your heart goes still. So the the family, um, again, filing up that wrongful death suit. And um, that is going to be a story that I don't suspect we've heard the last about. Let's talk, uh, let's switch gears and lighten it up here. Do you ever battle sunshine guilt? A lot of people say they have dealt with it. It's when there's a string of days with bad weather and then it's sunny, but you're like, oh, I just don't feel like going outside. Early spring is the prime sunshine guilt season. According to this article, it's loosely related to other terms like FOMO, bed rotting. Um, your sunshine guilt might even cut deeper if you check social media and you see your friends out enjoying the nice weather. I just can't relate with this at all. I love getting out when it's sunny. If it's sunny. But don't you feel, here's where I kind of understand it. I'm motivated to do more if it's nice outside. Yes. And I will feel like a POS if I'm sitting around and it's nice and I know that I could be getting some stuff done outside. I so, yeah. so it's, it's So that to me is the motivator. I right. understand that. There is a motivator with nice sunny weather to to stay active. Right. Like I'm otherwise like otherwise I'm totally fine staying inside, keeping it cool, like being even kill because the weather's not nice outside. But if I open that blind and it's sunshine, I'm like, oh my like what am I I gotta get outside. You I know who has go. no sunshine guilt? Chili. Chili. Zero sunshine guilt. It could be sunny and seventy. Perfect dialed up weather. Like outside, he could be out there. And Not interested. No, it's nap time. Yeah. Nap time. <laughs> no, zero sunshine guilt. That's a hard boundary. At all. You know? it's, he, you just, got, it's called self-love. He's like, what are you guys talking about? What is this sunshine guilt? <laughs> I never even heard of it. Hey, homes belonging to Sean Diddy Combs in L.A., New York, and Miami were raided by the Department of Homeland Security yesterday. Now, they're not saying anything except that it's part of an ongoing investigation. But Diddy, as you know, has been hit with numerous sexual misconduct allegations and lawsuits recently for crimes including rape, sex trafficking, and sex with a minor. One of his victims was his former girlfriend, Cassie, and Diddy settled with her with her without admitting guilt. But after yesterday's raids, her attorney did give a statement and said, look, hopefully this is the beginning of a process that would hold him responsible for the way he's been behaving, his depraved conduct. Those were his wow. attorney's words. Um, and then they're they're saying that Diddy's like on the run. They're saying like maybe they saw him at an airport. Maybe oh, he's going to. They were using that plane tracker. Yeah, that plane tracker and going to a place that doesn't have a deal like with extradition deals with the United States. So wow. I thought he might be on the run. Um, there's still a lot of unanswered questions around this, but it is big news. Uh, Roger Daltrey welcomed Led Zeppelin's Robert Plant, Pearl Jam's Eddie Vedder, and Stereophonics Kelly Jones and Glenn Hansard. Uh, the Swell Season, The Frames, they were all on stage for a performance of The Who's Baba O'Reilly. It was at a Teenage Cancer Trust concert that was over the weekend. So we have the um, video like from a fan, but... Uh, Yeah, you can see the whole thing on the music blog page. Pete Townshend says, by the way, if you want to see The Who, you might as well wait for the Avatar show. You can go check that out on the music blog page as well. Those are Houston's headlines. It's my kid's first show. The Who? Yeah, at Jazz Fest. So cool. Chili Peppers the next day. That's cool. So cool. (laughs) London's cooler than me. She doesn't remember. She'll know, though. But she, yeah, she was there, though. I remember you brought me that little chili pepper pin. Yeah, from New Orleans. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, what you got over there? Well, I got some fairly breaking news. The Texans are going to kick off the NFL preseason this year. They're going to play the Bears in the annual Hall of Fame game on August 1st in Canton, Ohio. Because Andre's going in. Andre's going into the Hall of Fame. Nice. Cool. It'll be just the second time ever that the Texans played in the Hall of Fame game. They also played their inaugural game. You know, that like the Cowboys win was their first ever official game. 
but they did play the New York Giants in the 2002 Hall of Fame game. They lost 34 to 17 in that. Do you remember who was going in from the Giants that they got invited to that game? Was it Jason Carson? I don't off the top of my head. No, I don't. Okay. I that's really remember. big, man. That's cool. I know that's just, I know that's phony football, but still. But still yeah, it's a so big deal for us to be involved. Spotlight. Yeah. And Andre will get focused on again, so that's always Fun. good. Um, Astros fell to the Sugarland Space Cowboys last night 3-1. to one. They are going to play one final tune-up game tonight before opening the regular season on Thursday against the Yankees. First pitch is at 7-10. You can listen to it on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. And in basketball, the Rockets won their ninth straight last night. They beat the Trailblazers 110-92. to It's their longest winning streak since 2019. They're just a game and a half behind the Warriors for the final play-in spot. They're going to have a day off today before they play the Thunder tomorrow night up in Oklahoma City. That is what's going on in sports. Chili Brown, 20 minutes. Yo, what's up? It's your brother Rod talking about QC Kinetics. The future of medicine is here. QC, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management that we've seen in decades. Regenerative medicine. If you're tired of those achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, getting outside on these nice sunny days like today, you need to call QC Kinetics now. Surgery, steroids, drugs, those are no longer your best options. Regenerative medicine, QC Kinetics, transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking about natural biologics, using your body's own power to repair and restore damaged joint tissue. QC Kinetics is under the leadership of the National Medical Director, Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup. Now, Dr. Scheinkup is a pioneer in this field with 20 years of clinical work, tons of research, teaching, publishing, you name it, he's done it all. He wants to get you relief with a needle, not a knife. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about some exciting options. Free consultation, 713-913-5285. 713-913-5285. That's 713-913-5285. Okay, there is a stop and go traffic in all pockets of the city. Right now, I-10 Katy Freeway, eastbound between the Grand Parkway and Kirkwood. That's kind of a mess over there, about a half hour delay as of right now um it's 17 minutes if you're on the north loop between lockwood and i-45 and then um let's see stop and go 10 minutes on east Texas between the north sand parkway and tidwell it's all over the place folks that's your rec track 94.5 the buzz
Come on, 94.5 The Buzz. Switchfoot meant to live. Halfway point of the show, people. Good morning. Rod Ryan Show. Tat Tuesday. Sunny skies today. Low chances of rain. Highs of around 72. Chili Brown game coming up in just a little bit. Always good having Chili join us in the studio, coming out of the Chili Bowl and uh, getting front and center. He's also taking applications to join us in studio tomorrow. We're going to do Chubby Bunny, where you put peeps in your mouth, and whoever can put the most peeps in their mouth and still say Chubby Bunny. You know what we don't have a lot of in this building? Tell me. Garbage cans. We really don't. True. We really don't. As a matter of fact, this studio didn't even come with a garbage can. I stole that blue recycle bin <laughs> from someone else. There's not a true garbage can in here. Uh, uh, that needs to change. That needs to change for tomorrow because it gets a little na- not not. It's not like gallon challenge milk throwing up, but the the peeps get a little messy. You know what I mean? It gets yeah, a little I do messy. Know what you mean. Um, Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. We have that big trash can out there that I can steal for the game. We will have to definitely steal that. Um, I wonder if we have that old... We used to have a microphone. The puke mic? Yeah, but what was the what was that really cool engineer's name that would work the, with the beard? Walter? He, Walter yeah. made us a St. Patrick's Day microphone. He painted it green. He had, like, the gold trim on it. He made, uh, he made a little shamrock out shamrock. of, like, a... Post it note like or a copper. Paper clip or no, on like copper. That. Okay. Yeah. So I wonder if we have any of that stuff. I'd like that mic just to have it. Uh, Heather sends me an email. Good morning, Rod and Peeps. How can I get on the show to stuff my face with these marshmallows? I can totally wreck at this game. Please tell me what I can do. I have won every game I've ever played on this show. I know I can win this one too. Heather has won some games. I don't think she's playing the fresh out of bed head to head, but Heather has won some other games with us. So I I know that she's a gamer for sure, and she's down to come down here. I'll send that over to Chile, Um, but you can you can sign up online if you want to send me an email. That's great. Um, But Chile has something set up for you where you can sign up on links and guests. But we're gonna have to pick them today. We have to get our people like at ten o'clock. Boom! We have to invite. I want four people down to uh, to join us in studio. And I got the peeps all ready to go. We're going traditional yellow chick peeps. Nice. For the competition tomorrow to win some great concert tickets. Nice. Concert tickets later this hour. Bush, concert announcement, right? Well, yeah, but Bush, Jerry, Cantrell, Candlebox tickets to this hour. Okay. The winner of the Chili Brown game. Concert announcement coming at 9. Um, has The Rock been trending at all? Uh, just, not, not that I've seen. We talked about him the other day. Just when I, I, I've said on the air that like I have I'm rock. Off, yeah, you're like, I'm off The Rock. I have rock fatigue. Yeah. Okay, the Iron Paradise. I get it. You're working out. You get your veins all over the place. <laughs> You're awesome. Okay, I right. like the, I like the Rock. I just I was getting too much of it in my feed. You're and then, oversaturated. Too much Rock. Like I have, right now, I have too much women's basketball on my phone. I can't get enough of that. I can. Oh, I I have you enough of it. Ma- women's you got your max. I have. Ne- I don't know if I stopped mm-hmm. on one video Support and then us. You then, hate Caitlin Clark. I don't mind supporting. I just have never had more women's basketball on my phone ever. How's You're your welcome. bracket looking? Is it you? Is Are it you me? doing something? Am I, doing, I hope so. I, I hope it is me. I would like to take. Four. I said that I kind of had rock fatigue, man. I, I retweeted this this morning, so it's on uh, us on the X at Rod Ryan Show. What'd you, what'd you get out there? He he sent a video of himself and he's singing the "You're Welcome" song from Moana. Now, if you got little kids, you watched Moana, and the Rock actually sings. And it's just, you know, all the Disney movies are now written, all the songs are written by Lynn manuel Miranda. Uh-huh. So they all sound the same. You know, they all got a rap section in them. And the, but, I mean, the guy's very talented. He knows what he's doing. It's just, it reeks of Lynn manuel Miranda. Am I saying that right? Yeah, Lynn manuel Miranda, yeah. So the, the You're Welcome song that The Rock sings, and you're like, wait a minute, The Rock sings? I mean, you know, it's not something that, you know, it's not, sings. it's not Chris Cornell, but he can There's sing. no Alex. He, he sings, though. I mean, it's, it's very functional for the character of uh, Maui. So a little girl is in the hospital and she's battling a brain disorder mm. and, and Moana's her favorite movie mm. and that scene and he sang it for her. That's so, that's so sweet. So now I feel crappy about saying what you I said about The Rock. On. You can be back on for, for this. Friend on with The Rock. Friend on for this. Um, I retweeted it. You can see it online. It's really great. I mean, now he does overindulge. It's like two minutes of him talking. Just like, I want to say here, he's just, just sing rock. Just sing. <laughs> But he's awesome. He really is great. Where are you at? Do you see a lot of Mark Wahlberg stuff? 
I don't. I see a lot of Mark Wahlberg too, yeah. like getting in prayers up. Oh yeah, pray- getting into you know the- a lot of my friends share that. Like he's he's very Catholic, and but three thirty in the morning he's getting in his no, ice bath. A devout. He's always got little mini like chub shorts on, and he does not mind grabbing his crotch in those videos. Mm. It's no, he really doesn't. weird. He's very comfortable grabbing his package. Interesting. When he's talking about Jesus. Interesting. Like he could have his hand on his junk and mention Jesus at the simultaneously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I get a yeah. lot of him, and again, I like him. Yeah. It's just okay. You're going to an ice bath again, bro. When are and you then you going prayer, to an ice bath? You're yeah. praying When's in your, your ice, ice bath? bath. I don't think I can do it. I think I would be a little bit more like Stone Cold. I, 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 <laughs> Stone Cold wasn't mentally prepared. You can mentally prepare. I'm weak. I'm mentally weak on the cold. I, it's like <laughs> daggers going into my skin. It's like daggers going into everyone's skin. But it's I very can't, cold. I can't even go in like 88 degree pool water. You can. 90 is my min. You can. The min. Don't put is boundaries on yourself. I can't. Open your mind. I can't. I, I, I just Alex, can't. I know it's good for you. Open his mind. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Jelly! Help him. I'll do an ice bath with... Jelly! I'll do, a, I'll do an Wake ice up! bath with chili. With jelly beans. Would you do an ice bath with me? Only if we're in the same tub together. That's what I mean. Yeah. What are we going to do? Be Cialis? Holding hands next to each other? Two tubs? Hey, you never know. <laughs> I like the Kevin Hart podcast that he would do. You know what? I kind of like that better, as a matter of fact. Nah, you're too late for that. Okay. You haven't done an ice bath. No, I would do it, though. You would? Yeah. You and I are going to do it, and then we're going to be like... We're doing a bobsled. Don't get into you know? it. That's how oh, we're going to be I doing. I love that. Oh, like we're going nuts to butts? We're yeah. not even going to be facing each other in the yeah, tub? Yeah, like the bobsled. I'm know? not going nuts to butts with you in a bathtub? Be warmer. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> who's, okay, well, who's in the front? Huh? Who's in the front? It don't matter. We'll flip a coin. Who's not and who's butt? Where, where's, what's the positioning here? <laughs> Where are my nuts in your butts? Hey, that we can talk about it off air. <laughs> okay, no, enough. no, no. All meetings on air now. Yeah, right. Are you ready for uh, chili brown? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> okay. Traditional jelly beans. I, I spared you the spicy ones. These are going to be These actually the, look good. Yeah, they do. Deceptively, look, they look wonderful. Mouth is watering already. All right, Yum. coming up the chili brown game. I'll explain everything. We'll get you guys on board trying to win some great tickets for us, man. I, you can't go anywhere. This is coming up after the break. Yo, what's up? It's your brother Rod talking about the great folks over at Centergenics, okay? Fellas, this is specifically for you. And this is my new message is I know we're always trying to put everybody in front of us. We're trying to take care of everybody. You got to take care of yourself, okay? Fellas, listen to me and listen to me good. Lack of energy, motivation is down, possibly low libido. These are symptoms that could be caused by low T levels. You must be just a little curious to see what your levels are at. Synergenics, the medical providers exclusively specialize in customized testosterone treatments. They make it quick and easy to get your levels checked. Do something great for yourself, fellas, okay? You got to take care of yourself as well as everybody else. I get that. Synergenics, you're going to get your results back at your first visit. Book an appointment online. They have a website just for us, endmylowt.com, endmylowt.com. Book it.
A disabled vehicle is blocking a center lane at Alt 90, US 90 Alt at Holcomb Boulevard. Stop and go from Omera Drive. It's about a seven minute delay. So stuff is clearing up. So that's uh, the the better news. Um, there's an accident cleared on the West Park Tollway eastbound before Hillcroft. There's still some stop and go um, on I-10 between the Grand Parkway and Kirkwood. That's the biggest delay I'm seeing. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Two of my all-time favorite emails that I could receive. One is, Rod, I was listening to the show and you guys were doing something, and I pulled into work and I couldn't get out of the car. Like I, nice. it was, it, yeah, it, it, that's it a good was, compliment. it was, in, that's the best compliment. It really is. Like I couldn't get out of the car. I wanted to, you know, hear what you wrapping up your thoughts or whatever game you were playing. And I was maybe late getting into the office. Uh, that I love. And then this one here that Becky writes, too. It's one of my all-time favorites. She's like, uh, Rod, I love when I'm li- sitting in traffic. And y'all say something that cracks me up. And I look over at the car next to me. And that person starts cracking up at the same time and laughing. I just know that they are listening to you all as well. That just happened with the whole feet pick conversation you guys had earlier. Nice. You start laughing, and then you see the car. It's like they've got to be listening they, to what I'm listening to. There's no way that we're laughing at the exact same time. Yeah. They, you just know, looking at that car, that they're listening to the same thing. I. That's really, really, I love that. Thank you, Becky. Thank you. 10% chance of rain. Sunny. High of 72. Uh, what's trending? Well, you love that. Steve the Breadman loves today's Tattoos Day. He's the one who submitted it for us. It's our number one blog page. He might be our number one submitter right now. <laughs> Steve the Breadman, he's got a good eye. His message is funny. He says, she is, as the French say, le magnifique. <laughs> is that how they say that? I guess. According to Steve the Breadman. So thanks for that. Also, you're looking at girls' blog page. I I really like the LSU. Kim Mulkey is feuding with the Washington Post right now, and I went and read that. So apparently they're about to do a hit piece on her. She's the coach of the women's LSU basketball team. Yeah, the Tigers, that and she's the one that wears like, all the flashy outfits and she looks stuff like, like that. Elton John's grandma, basically. Um, and she's she is telling that reporter she's like you gave me all these questions to answer right before we were about to play a game, said, if I don't answer them, you're going to print the article. She's like, look, there's not a lot of people that, you know, can fight, you know, a big corporation or a big, you know, a big media conglomerate. She's like, I'm not one of them. She's like, I will get the best defamation law lawyer and I will come back at you. She's like, that's why people are losing trust in the media. I mean, she was going off in her press conference. And I just, I mean... I like it. I see I a really, lot of really like it. Bachelor stuff today too. Yeah, yeah. The so, Bachelor finale was last night. So, th- so the he proposed. I can't. I'm not. No spoilers. Tell you got. You got to go to the Looking at Girls blog page. Uh, no spoilers from me. Some over girl here. you never heard of before. Right. And then he's got Alex Cooper on the start of that. And then your sports blog page. JJ Watt not very happy with the um, the tackling. The hip drop tackle being yeah. banned. Yeah, that the hip drop tackle being banned. That's kind of lousy. But go check out the sports blog page to, to read on that. And that's what's trending. I love when the holidays roll around, and we know that Charles Schultz wrote a book about it. Mm-hmm. Chili Brown. We do it for Halloween. We do it for Thanksgiving. We do. We do it for Christmas. Right. And then we do it for Easter. Yes. Now. Chili Brown will be reading from It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. Uh, he will read from the book. He will have... Brock's classic jelly beans in his mouth. And you're going to have to tell us how many jelly beans he has in his mouth for the reading. Person that comes closest without going over will win some great concert tickets. Up for grabs right now, Bush, Jerry Cantrell, Candlebox tickets. So now's the time to get on board. 713-212-5945. And we'll just kind of sit back and let Chili do some reading for us.
94.5 The Buzz, Lincoln Park, Somewhere I Belong, Rob Ryan Show on this Tat Tuesday. Chili, I sent a couple people over. They want to play, uh, I think Detroit Tony contacted yeah. me. Yeah. I, I sent them all the link, too. Uh, some people are now saying, hey, I would love to come in the studio tomorrow and join you guys for some uh, Easter hijinks. Tomorrow, it'll be earlier, though. It'll be at 7.20. We're going to play the uh, Chubby Bunny game. Nice. Yeah, so you would have to be here at... 7.20 a.m. I mean, 7.30 a.m. 6.30. Oh, yeah, 6.30. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, you have to be here at 6.30 in the morning, and then we'll get you on here at 7.20 to play the game. There you go. Why haven't we had any listeners in studio with us? I had someone message me. They really wanted to do it, and I sent them the link, so I hope they yeah. applied. Okay. Um, we got sunny skies today, 10% chance of rain, highs of around 72. Chili, how you feeling? I am feeling great. Always good to have you in the uh, in the studio with us. Yeah. I was focused so much on Chubby Bunny getting people in that I almost forgot until an email came in. Don't you have this guy reading Charlie Brown yeah, this week? Yeah, our spring Who showcase. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I, I would never tell you that because I know that you would ban them from winning anything, yeah. any future contest. Yeah. Did you think you were going to skate by this whole week and not? Honestly, I didn't even think about it. I didn't think I was going to do it till like. I don't spring, know that I believe uh, you. Till, uh, what was it? Uh, senior skip day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we did a, I forgot we did but a that, live version. That's why I'm like, oh, I didn't think of anything until that, but thanks did, to whoever said that. What did you read from? It's Senior Skip Day, Charlie Brown? Mm -hmm. I don't know. There we'll, was a we'll book. Make it, I don't know. It was like 4th of July or something. Like. It's Ditch Day, Charlie Brown. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Your should, outfit that day. Best dress. We should write one. Yeah. Okay, so we know that you've done this with candy corns. We know that you've done this with all sorts of other candies. It was invented for the candy corn. Naturally. Right, for... Um, I think we did that for Halloween the very first time the we ever did pumpkin. this. Great pumpkin. Sure was. Oh, All right, try so one of these. this um, is uh, the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. Uh, mm. Let's say hi to who's on the phone here. Uh, first good. up is Lizette. Good morning. Hey, good morning. When I say a standard jelly bean, not a jelly belly, which are everyone knows those are much smaller, a standard jelly bean, is that that's, that's easy to kind of like create that picture in your brain, correct? Okay, so that's what he's going to be putting in his mouth when he does the reading. Good to have you on today. That's Lizette. Now, Amanda is also going to be guessing. Amanda, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. We're straight on the jelly bean. You know what a standard-looking jelly bean looks like? Yes. You try one, Chili? Yeah. Your wife said no. You're not to I, eat he these. He knows he's not supposed to. You're not supposed to. You don't tempt him, Ryan. Yeah. Diabetes, okay? You're not supposed <laughs> to be eating these. Your oh, wife yeah. always tells me. James, good morning. Good morning. He's not supposed to be eating them, okay? He just he is. He's going to put them in his mouth, and he's going to read. But this one's are the good ones. From the book, it's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. These are the cla These are really old school. Yeah. That, that packaging, Brock's, that hasn't changed since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. This Got a bit, one tasted right? like pina colada. Got a bit Randall's. Randall's is where Fancy. I picked up all my... Uh, Fonts? Where I yeah, that's where I picked up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, so who's on the line? You have James. Who's before James? Can they hear on hold now? Yeah. Can they? Okay. So that's fixed. Hang on. Let me just double check. Hey, Lizette. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. When I put you on hold, you can hear? Yes. Okay, good. They fixed that. Thanks, Bob. Okay. Okay. What was your question? Lizette, James. Lizette, Amanda, and James. Okay. So each of them will be guessing the number of jelly beans in Chili's mouth when he does the reading. Now, you pick the page. <sighs> Since it's the year of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, let's go with the Holy Trinity, number three. Oh, I like that. Okay, there goes Chili. Mm. Good luck, buddy. Jelly. Close. Jelly beans are going in the mouth, and here we go. Chili Brown reading. It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown, page mm -hmm. three. All right, here we go. Across the neighborhood, Lucy leans on Schroeder's piano. I love when Schroeder's on your page. <laughs> I love when Schroeder's a part of the story. Nasty boy. Lucy leans on Schroeder's piano while she plays an Eddie Spring song. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> We've got another one of those great holidays coming up, Lucy hints while he plays. Where boys have the opportunity to give presents to pretty girls. Ah. Frozen so, stops praying and rolls his eyes. It's not a time for getting. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's so juicy. Oh, no. You're not supposed to be eating them. I'm not, but. 
juicy. It's going in my gums and it hurts. So juicy. It's, it's not a time for getting his stuff. It's a time for <laughs> renewal the start of spring. Wrong. Lucy says with a grinning. It's the gift of getting. <clears throat> oh no. It's the gift of. <laughs> Say it. So good. It's the gift of getting season in. Ah! Bravo. Well done, buddy. Bravo. Well done. Gross. Mm. Just as gross as I remembered. Uh, you did. Ah. I didn't really get much there. I don't know where the, I don't know where they are. I don't really. Well, rem- I think Lucy was like saying, Schroeder. "Okay, yeah, like, hey, this is a time for you guys to give pretty girls a gift," and they're like, "No, Lucy, stop." Lucy's this is a hooker. It's supposed to give for everyone. She was kind of. I hated Lucy growing up. She reminds moving, me of Tessa. Move. Wow, <laughs> someone actually did buy me that Lucy dress. Remember? And it yes. was like a kid's one. I couldn't get. I couldn't get it's it like, on. Okay. Oh, uh, hey, give me a gift. Lizette, <laughs> give. Lizette, good morning. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Doing well in yourself. Great. Okay. Uh, how many jelly beans? Uh, how how many jelly beans? Like a- 25. 25. Hmm. Person that comes closest without going over today will be the big winner. Amanda, you're next up. I got a bit of 25. How many jelly beans were in Chili's mouth for that wonderful reading of, uh, it's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown? I'm going to go with nine. Nine jelly beans. Hmm. Nine jelly beans. Nine, nine. times. Nine, nine. nine yeah. jelly beans. Uh, James Cook. Good morning, James. Good morning. Person that comes closest without going over the actual number of jelly beans in his mouth will be the winner. I have a 25 and I have a 9. What you got? Uh, 26. Oh, mm. you're that guy. You box him you box yep, her in. Yeah, I'm that guy. Yeah, that's okay. That's what you get when you go third. You can box somebody in for sure. Mhm. Actual. So how many jelly beans do you think are in your mouth right now? <laughs> you don't count them. You just put them in your mouth. Mm. It feels like about 40. 40? It feels, feels like, like 40. It, I think it's like 22. <laughs> 40. Uh, actual number of jelly beans in Chili's mouth. 28. Oh! So James boxing her in with the 26. He is closest without going over. Yo, James. Yes, sir. Bro, you're the big winner today on the Chili Brown game. Sounds great. What are you giving them? Oh, dude, you get the tickets to go see Bush, Jerry Cantrell, and Candlebox at 713 Music Hall. You win the Chile Brown Easter Edition game. Congrats. Got a sugar rush. Thank you. You're not supposed Spit to be eating them. Spit it out. Spit Get it rid out. of it. What's wrong with you? I told, I promised your wife you wouldn't eat these things. They're, and they look like the colors of uh, Easter uh, colors, too. Uh, look. Yeah. I'm not looking. Oh. All the pastel colors. <laughs> dude, I'm already not feeling well. That's gross. Oh, look. Uh, so gross. Seriously? So gross. <laughs> okay. Adios. Uh, oh. Bye. This is back and loser on the buzz.
There we go. 94.5 The Buzz, Bex Loser. Rod Ryan's show on this Tat Tuesday. Great round of the uh, Chili Brown game. Chili, uh, that's it. He's done doing the work. You guys will do the work tomorrow. Is uh, I, I am inviting four of you down to the studio. You got to sign up on Links and Guests. It's just quite simple. Just sign up if you want to come down and play. We're going to do the uh, Chubby Bunny game at 7.20 tomorrow. Chili needs you here at 6.30 in the morning. And then hopefully it's early enough that you can still, you know, if you got to go into work, whatever your obligations are that day, uh, it doesn't quite get into the way of that. But uh, we're throwing some great concert tickets in there to the winner. Uh, we'll take care of everybody that comes down, though. So all you have to do is sign up. On the uh, world-famous Rod Ryan Show page at thebuzz.com, we'd love to have you be part of the show tomorrow morning. Okay, you should totally just slam dunk those glasses and contacts uh, because Manai Institute is offering a really special LASIK promotion right now. If you call 800-MY-VISION or go online to manai.com, you can score a 100% free screening. Do not sit on the sidelines. You can score big this March. Manai Institute's limited time LASIK promotion. Imagine watching every play with the big tournament with crystal clear vision, cheering on your favorite team without that distraction of the glasses slipping down your nose. With LASIK at Manai Institute, you'll experience the thrill of victory every time you open your eyes. So call 800 My Vision or book it online at manai.com.
Estelle's walking two middle lanes on the west side. I-10 Katy Freeway, westbound at Chimney Rock. It's about a half hour delay. Some traffic from Washington Avenue there. There is an accident report on the south side, 69 Southwest Freeway, southbound at Fannin. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Shine down, dead don't die. Rod Ryan show on this Tet Tuesday. Ooh, we got a concert announcement coming up for you. We'll give away the first pair of tickets to said concert. It was supposed to be two, and then one of them. Oh the, yeah, the lesser of the two. Yeah, I can say that. Uh, the lesser of the two. Uh, just put it off till next week. So that's fine. Uh, for I don't know what goes on uh, with that, but it's easier for me just to do one at a time. So. Uh, we'll get you all those details and the first pair of tickets to that show. I think you're going to be happy with it. Um, coming up after Alex wraps up his sports. 10% chance of rain. Sunny skies today. High of 72. 
All right, Tessa, what are Houston's headlines? Well, rescue operations are continuing after a Baltimore bridge was struck by a ship and collapsed early this morning. It happened around 1.30 a.m., the Francis Scott Key Bridge, and now a massive search is underway for people who may have been on the Francis Scott Key Bridge. When the incident occurred overnight, two survivors have been pulled from the river so far. Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott and other state leaders are heading to the scene and, and declaring a disaster in the state of Maryland because of that bridge collapse. Homes belonging to Sean Diddy Combs in Los Angeles, New York, and Miami were raided by the feds yesterday. There's no official word, but it probably has to do with all the sexual assault and trafficking allegations against him. Um, This is something that's the number one search on Google. Um, TMZ has some pictures and video from two of the raids. You have an analyst, a legal analyst, saying, you know, he's been accused of sex trafficking. He's been accused of non-consexual pornography. The officers would have executed, would, would not have executed that search warrant. Sorry, they would have executed that search warrant to gather any type of evidence to prove or establish that a crime has been committed and that he is the person that committed that crime. Trader Joe's up the price of a banana for the first time in 23 years. This is an outrageous price jump. And at the same time, not crazy at all because uh, their bananas originally cost 19 cents a piece. That's been since 2001. Something they brag about. Like same same price, 20 years running, you know. Was that the same place that had the one buck chuck or two buck two chuck? Two buck chuck. That was the wine for two dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that also, I mean, I remember that being a huge deal when that price went up. Yeah. Um, I, I was, I didn't grow up with Trader Joe's. No, I didn't either. Um, I didn't either. I think, I think Dinah knew more about it, so she knew about that that two buck chuck. It had been around a long, long time, and the whole place. I mean, everybody was going bananas when they raised the price. So, I didn't bananas. know. The, I didn't know bananas were that cheap. To be honest with you. Well, they were there, and now they've upped it to 23 cents, so still very cheap for a You'll banana. You'll still go buy one psycho banana. I will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One see, banana. Just one. Just one. You buy, like, one apple? Yeah, all the time. You just buy one apple? All the time. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's like a big apple. Sometimes I like, eat it in two days. Like, I cut it in half, and then I eat half. You ever get done with the banana and then go, man, I wish I had another one? No. I'm never going to buy just one again. No, one's filling. One is enough. Yeah. I was doing this thing over the weekend with my girlfriends. They're like, who keeps eating half of a banana? (laughs) It's like, it's me. (laughs) I'll cut it. (laughs) Wait a minute. What? Like in the morning. So like in the morning we had like muffins and we had quiche and there were bananas there. And like, I like really like eating a banana, like a raw banana with a muffin. I think like, take a bite, take a bite, take a bite, take a bite. Yeah. But there were many muffins. So I didn't need a whole banana. I just needed half. So How many would, bananas were there? A bunch. No, a bunch. A yeah. bunch of bananas. Bunch. That's what you buy. A bunch. Well, yeah, over a girls' trip of six girls, and oh, did, okay. and there, and we still threw away like two. Okay. You go and buy one banana. All the time. All the time. All the time. Rebel Wilson has revealed the identity of the quote massive a hole who's been trying to stop her from writing about him in her upcoming book Rebel Rising, and it's Borat himself, Sasha Baron Cohen. They worked together in the 2016 comedy The Brothers Grimsby, and obviously she did not enjoy it. As for the book, it's scheduled to come out next Tuesday. She's like, I'm not going to be bullied or silenced by high price lawyers or PR crisis managers. Uh, Sasha's denying whatever claims she has made in the book. He says uh, his rep said, "While we appreciate the importance of speaking." Out, out. These demonstrably false claims are directly contradicted by extensive detailed evidence, including documents, film footage, eyewitness accounts. Um, so, yeah, they said during and before the production of the Brothers Grimsby, Grimsby that um, that they have things that contradict what Rebel's accusing. Uh, she did do an interview a decade ago that says that Reb- that Sasha was cons- constantly and consistently harassing her on the set, doing stuff, stuff like trying to get her naked, um, trying to make her do really compromising things. And um, I think she did slap his naked buttocks in a compromise that they had. So he wanted her to do something else. But she said, this is this is where I draw the line. It sucks when it comes out in a book. And not just out there. Well, wouldn't you want to save the stuff for the book? Like, I'm not going to Now you're telling me you just want to sell books. I'm not going to complain about it. You just played it in my hand. You know what I mean? Like, you're... Well, why... No, that's that's everyone's hand. Why does... Like, when someone has a big secret, they're not going to go to 2020 to give the interview. They're going to be like, I'm starting a podcast and I'm telling you all the juice. Like, they're monetizing it. But you're talking about something that sounds like it was a real big deal for her. You don't... You don't monetize it. Everyone does that, Ron. Literally, everyone does that. People start podcasts all the time. Instead of giving uh, Barbara Walters an exclusive interview, they're like, I'm releasing a podcast. It has five episodes. And in that, I'll tell you everything. I'm I'm suspect when people put it in a book. I'm telling you that's the way people are doing it now.
Uh, Courtney Love is going to host a BBC series. She earned Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress in the 90s, and now she says, okay, I want to conquer the small screen. She is going to host this BBC series, Courtney Loves Women, and it's going to take a look at her life and career and the women that have influenced her to be a rocker. Uh, she says she tried to hook up Stevie Nicks and Billy Corgan. Uh, she says she hung out with Debbie Harry at the Playboy Mansion and a lot of other uh a lot of other little things. I interviewed her before. I asked her if she had sex with Billy Corgan. She I mean, went, ew, gross, no. That's what she said. <laughs> nice. Because they wrote songs together. Nice. Or he wrote songs for her. I don't know how that works, but. Uh, I would bet it's that way. They hung out, though, and she said, no, gross. Well, buddy, <laughs> Billy buddy. All right. Well, those are you headlines. Take it. Well, the Texans are going to kick off the NFL preseason this year. That came out this morning. They'll take on the Bears in the annual NFL Hall of Fame game on August 1st in Canton, Ohio. Andre Johnson obviously going into the Hall of Fame for the Texans, becoming the first Texan in the Hall. Devin Hester is the reason that the Bears will be playing in this game. They are going to do that. Yes, yeah, so I said August 1st in Canton. It'll be just the second time in the Texans history that they've played in the Hall of Fame game. First time since their inaugural season in 2002. In basketball, the Rockets won their ninth straight last night. They beat the Trailblazers 110-92. It's their longest winning streak since 2019. Jalen Green had 27 points in the night to the all-players in scoring. They are just now a game and a half back of the Warriors for the final play-in spot in the playoffs. They're going to have a day off today before they play the Thunder tomorrow night in Oklahoma City. Astros fell to the Sugarland Space Cowboys last night 3-1. to one. They're going to play the one final tune-up game tonight against the Space Cowboys. Uh, that'll be at Minute Maid, and then they're going to open up the regular season on Thursday. First pitch is at 710. You can listen to the game on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. That is what's going on in sports. Yo, what's up? It's your brother, Rod, talking about QC Kinetics. It's that time of year, man, to get out there and enjoy life. The future of medicine is here with QC Kinetics, the nation's leader, in the most exciting revolution in pain management that we've seen in decades, regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, getting out there and enjoying beautiful days like today, you need to call QC Kinetics now. Surgery, steroids, drugs, these are no longer your best options. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics, transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. Talking about natural biologics here, using your body's own power to repair and restore damaged joint tissue. QC Kinetics is under the leadership of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Sheinkup. Now, Dr. Sheinkup is a pioneer, okay, in this field. 20 years of clinical work, tons of research, teaching, publishing. He wants to get you relief with a needle and not a knife. Call QC Kinetics now. Learn more about some of uh, these exciting options. Call QC Kinetics, free consultation, 713-913-5285. 713-913-5285. 713-913-5285. All right, let's go to the south side. That accident on the Southwest Freeway has cleared up, but there's still some traffic from Quitman and Liberty going southbound. Um, over on the north side, I-45 southbound between West Mount Houston and I-10. There's about a half hour delay. This is no accident. It's just stop and go. It's busy out there this morning, y'all. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Welcome aboard, everybody. I'm so glad uh, I see so many bright, smiling faces out there joining us for this concert announcement. We had already talked about one a one-off show that this band was doing. Yes. And it was out in Los Angeles, and we talked, and we had a couple of listeners that bought tickets for it to go out there and uh, celebrate the 30th anniversary of their debut CD. Well, they're going to go out on the road, and you know I'm talking about the band Corn. Gojira and Spirit Box are going to be traveling with them around the country on their tour, and they will be here in Houston on October 20th, Woodlands Pavilion. Tickets will go on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. through all Ticketmaster locations. You've seen Corn before. That was the best concert I saw that year with they were with Evanescence. I remember you like raving about it. I went on a Sunday. Nothing gets me out on a Sunday. Yep. I took my sister. We vibed 
so hard. It was so much fun. It was such a good show. Were you close to the stage? I was. I was. I wasn't because like. I wasn't in the pit or anything, but I was like close up. The thing yeah. about a corn show is Fieldy's bass will go right through your body. Oh, so good. That that bass resonates. If you're on Fieldy's side of the stage, he's on stage right. I, it'll go right through you, man. And every. Every all your guts and everything are completely shaken up at a at a corn show. So corn, Gojira, and Spirit Box, October twentieth, Woodlands Pavilion. You get your tickets on Friday at ten a.m. But you know we like to give them away uh, away before they go on sale. So I will take caller number ten seven one three two one two five nine four five. This just happens to be my favorite corn song. It's got the life. 94.5, the buzz. It's corn. <laughs> it's corn. <laughs> Ninety-four five. Oh, we don't want that. What time is it? Oh, that we was can't the, celebrate. That was the concert the spinach day thing. Uh, that's corn, everybody. Gojira Spirit Box, October twentieth, Woodlands Pavilion. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Good morning. Hello. Who's this? Hi, this is Samantha. Hi, Samantha. You sound so sweet. What are you going to do at a corn show? It's a little aggressive for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never been to corn. Uh, you know, I'll just survive. I want you in the back. I don't want you in the front. I, I need a, I need protection around Samantha. She sounds uh, so sweet. Yeah. Uh, you're calling 10. <laughs> I'm going to get you those corn tickets. Please be careful out there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you said you'd never seen them before. No. Oh, they're so good live. 
They really are great. I'm excited. <laughs> and, and Jonathan can still sing his ass off, too, man. That stuff's not easy to sing. It's, I mean, it's definitely unique. Um, but, boy, he can still sing his ass off. He, he can replicate that stuff. I, I, there's been no, I don't see him losing anything uh, on his voice. And then the band is always <laughs> top notch. Samantha, thanks uh, for being on the show today. Congratulations. Have a great time at the Corn Show. Thank you very much. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Samantha. Do, 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 do. The other concert announcement that we were supposed to have, it was going to be less than that. Uh, apparently, that's going to announce next week. I still think that there's two other concert announcements this week, though. So just keep it here. We'll get you tickets into everything. I forgot how it was worded, like buzz related. That that means that we would talk about it. We would support it. So we'll have tickets, more uh, tickets for you. Uh, I saw Chili getting back to a few people. I think we got some people signing up for uh, Chubby Bunny tomorrow. Chili, how you feeling about Chubby Bunny? We gonna be able to get four people down here? Oh, he's talking to Samantha. Okay, yeah, sweet Samantha. All right, well, yeah, very. Didn't she sound very sweet? Mm-hmm. Like, what are you gonna do with this? Can I get you some Dave Matthews Band tickets or something? Yeah. It sounded a little bit more for her. Sunny skies today. 10% chance of rain. Highs uh, of around 72. Millennials, which I'm in the room with a couple right here. 73% of millennial parents think that they're doing a better job than their own parents. Would you ever, Alex, be be able to parent better than your parents did? No. And it's something like you that know, I'm terrified of daily. You know that going in. <laughs> yeah. I, now listen, love my mom, okay? Loved my dad. I'm doing a better job. <laughs> I'm, just, yeah. I'm just. Like you can say that, that and like you're not saying it to be. Does that sound horrible? Like you're not saying it to make your mom feel bad or like think no. you're better than her. I'm doing better. You're just doing better. That's how I, I, I mean. If I was a mom. But my mom did what she had to do. Exactly. Three kids. Exactly. No judgment. She, single mom, three kids, at one point, three jobs. You know, like we had to fend for ourselves, man. We were at home juggling knives. Yeah. You know, I mean, she had to work. Yeah. So it, it's not all on her. But I can honestly say, like, I'm doing it better. Now, my mom watches some of my parenting style. And she will say a few things here and there. Okay. I don't need to win like my mom needed to win. Okay. My mom needed to, when you said, put it down, you put it down that second. Yeah. And she was ready to mix it up with you. Right. It ha- and, and I just said, I don't need to win these little things. If I tell my kid to get in the house and she comes in two minutes later, that's- She's in the house. She's in the house. <laughs> When my mom said get in the house, you just dropped whatever you were doing. You were playing with your friends and just get your ass here now. I don't hate that. Dis- I don't hate that level of discipline. But it was you don't probably want your- miserable for you growing up, but I don't hate that. I, I, you don't want your kid walking all over you. No, you don't want your kid being disrespectful and growing up. You Walking all over you is one thing, but mm-hmm. being a little you know jerk in society, that's another thing. <laughs> all kids are little jerks. I'll, that That's a blanket statement that is absolutely true. Every kid, even my angel, okay? All kids can be little jerks. Do you think you could possibly parent better than your parents did no. you? And you were a handful. Yeah, I was. Like, what if you have, like, you, you know this little girl's going to be a hellion. Or she'll just be awesome. Well, she's like going to be awesome. Even if she's a hellion, she's going to be awesome. She's half not me, too, and that half is really cool. That's ah, what's giving you hope. Like, we're hoping for a lot of Emma and yeah. a little you. Yeah. She's going to be just like him. <laughs> like you're She's going to be just like him. And she's going to be just like she's you. She's going to be just like him. Yeah. I think I so, know. too. I think I so, know. too. It's a 50-50 chance. I feel like they're a lot. little girls are a lot like their dads when they're little, and then they grow up, and they're more like their moms. That's how, I, how I've seen it. I've witnessed it. What are parents today doing differently? Gentle parenting. Um, where parents are now getting advice where a lot of parents now are getting advice from social media. But other than that, it hasn't really changed much. Uh, Most people still, family, other parents, friends, parenting books. So, I mean, the internet is still not the dominant place. Now, are you reading books? I've read two books. On how to be a parent? Uh, On being a dad, yes. Yeah, I didn't read the books. It's like Mm -hmm. the the TV show. It's like, uh, uh, what was it? Knocked Up. Knocked Up. I didn't read the books. Let's just do it. You I mean, didn't read the baby books. This has been books. going on for thousands of years. 
I'm yeah. going to be all right. I just wanted to read the book so I could say I read the book. Yeah, you want to make sure that you're taking part and you're like, and you're. Believe me, I made a big deal. Of like, oh, she's going to go ch- take out another chapter of this book real fast on a Sunday morning. Real fast. <laughs> I'm going to go out here and read. So she knew I was doing. What does the book say to do? Um, I learned how to baby proof a hotel room in like 20 minutes. Nice. Okay. Um, a lot of just like what to do to help with with mom as she's getting ready for that. I'm I'm getting ready to pack a to go bag. Oh, I should have read the books. I, yeah, <laughs> like little things like that. That I mean, don't, I don't don't beat them. You didn't think about them. Like don't shake the baby. Yeah, don't beat them or shake them. Yeah, yeah. Um, call. Like I figured that like yeah that stuff like all of the stuff was stuff that I had heard of. But okay, yeah, this this would go in a to go bag. That makes more sense because I would have just been like, here's food. I just, and, I just put food in this bag. Yeah, my mom and doesn't. And, and, and your parents, I know your parents well enough that they'll do the same. They're going to let you do what you do. They're going to sit there, and there's going to be times when they just bite their hand, and they want to say <laughs> <Probably>. something. <There's, laughs> they see what you're doing. They're like, this idiot. Jesus Christ, did this he not learn dummy. anything from us? Uh, I think my mom does a little of that. Yeah. You know, she, but my mom's not one to hold back. She will eventually say something. Here, I'm like, ah, 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 ah. it's a little different here. Yeah. It's a little yeah. different over here. A little different these days. <laughs> my mom's worried about my kid being spoiled. That's the biggest thing for her. Yeah. She's so freaked out because I have more money than what we had growing up. So my mom just doesn't, and I don't, but my kid doesn't have, my kid doesn't have a Barbie car and a, and a, these, she just doesn't have these she things. She doesn't have a G-Wagon? No. A little mini G-Wagon? Correct. She doesn't have those things. Right. Um, but you have you have a nice house. You have nice stuff. She has toys to play with. There's but a lot of toys and stuff. But, but yeah, that's like kid stuff that you have that if you if you have it, of course your kid's going to have it. My sister will tell me that my mom will talk to her about it. She's like, worried. Yeah, she's, she's worried concerned. about London being spoiled. Well, I'll tell you what. My brother and I were, we didn't have a lot growing up. So when we had younger siblings, we spoiled the crap out of them. And I will tell you, we have ruined them. So that's my advice. You will ruin your kid if you spoil them. And um, kids uh, need more discipline. Yeah. And you so need to expect more of your kids. You're that's younger, what I think. So you and your brother are close in age. And then you have. Five years apart. And then there's a 17 year gap. Between little brother and little and, sister. And then a 19-year gap. So we're like, you we, feel- were, we were their parents. We took them everywhere. We couldn't go to, when we would go to the circus, my mom would say, just sit there. Just sit there. You know. And so when we would take them to the circus, we're like, get everything you want, whatever you need. I yeah. mean, everything. I mean, we spoiled the crap out of these kids. And they're not bad people, but they are soft, spoiled people. Different set of rules for what you and your brother had to go through Dune? with what they had to go through. Dune? Yeah. You need you need to expect more of your kids. I'm uh, telling you. I feel you're like going to ruin them. That's the problem with me and Randy Ryan. He was the, he was the baby. He got babied. He got babied. See? Ruined him. The that's middle, what your your mom knows. Middle kids are always the best. <laughs> middle kids are middles. My mids, where's my mids out there? Um, <laughs> let me take a break. We still have Joe Satriani, Steve Vai tickets for you. I've got uh, Alex online coming up. I mean, listen, there's a lot of show left. Yo, it's your brother Rod talking about Shell Federal Credit Union. If you're feeling weighed down by multiple debt, okay, maybe you have multiple debts out there, time to let Shell FCU lighten that load a little bit. Consolidate those debts into one manageable monthly payment and simplify your finances this spring, okay? Shell FCU's debt consolidation options tailored to fit your needs with competitive rates and flexible terms. The financial freedom you feel this spring will help you leave your debt worries behind. Visit shellfcu.org, call or text 713-844-1100 for more information today.
Yo, what's up? It's your brother Rod talking about Boost Mobile and an amazing deal to help keep you connected and help you make the most of that tax return that hopefully it's you got a lot coming in. When you switch, but you're not going to need a lot here. When you switch to Boost, you get four lines for 100 bucks plus four free 5G smartphones like the Samsung Galaxy A15 or the Moto G Stylus 5G. Bringing you the best phones on America's largest 5G networks so you can get after it. Switching is easy. Just head to your local Boost Mobile store. Four lines, four phones, $100. Visit BoostMobile.com for details. New customers only. Requires auto pay, ID verification, other restrictions apply. See participating dealers for details.
There's an exit reported on 610 South Loop westbound between Almeda and Scott Street. It's about a 15-minute delay. There's traffic on 69 between Lorraine and Fannin. That's downtown. Then over in Bel Air on the west loop between Evergreen and the southwest freeway. If you're going northbound, there's a tiny bit of stop and go for you to deal with. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Welcome back, Rod Ryan Show. All right, let's let Alex do his thing. All right, what you got? Right, this is a weird one today, but it was interesting enough to use for an AOL. It's called "This Word Does Not Exist," and AI <laughs> basically spit out words and defined them that are not real. So lay them on me. Sarut, S A U R U T. It's okay. the female of a certain cholera bacterium. So right. Wow. It's a completely made up thing. Not even a real word. I mean, are we guessing between what's real and what isn't, or they're no, these all are fake? All made up. They're all None funny. None of them are real. Um, some of them sound very real, but are not. Trigoblastoma. Trigoblastoma. A tumor of fibroblasts formed after fusion of a bone, bone marrow, etc. And then also all of them say a word that does not exist. It was invented, defined by a machine learning algorithm. I feel like my tummy has trigoblastoma this oh, morning. Oh, yeah, that's your diagnosis. I feel like that's what my tummy feels like. Um, what about <laughs> bordonia? Oh, again. Having I think that's having a what lack of have. sleep, a mental disorder such as narcolepsy. Yeah, it feels like my butthole today. And the last one is <laughs> arptitude, just R-P-T-I-T-U-D-E, the state of being near death. So go check it out. Check out some words that do not exist at the World Famous Rod Ryan Show page at thebuzz.com.
94.5 The Buzz. Ten years in Wasteland. Rod Ryan show on a tat Tuesday. What the hell was that? <laughs> What's your boy doing over there? Is that a flask? What's your no. boy doing? You got a flask? No. Are you, oh. are you nipping a little on a Tuesday? <laughs> Not at all. He has a flask of hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> okay. Jeez. I'm like, okay. I mean, I can see like, you know, before Christmas and stuff, but I don't think no, we should I be. I couldn't get any of the hand sanitizer out, so I was trying to move it around. Oh, okay. I thought you had a little drink no. going on on a <laughs> Tuesday at 930. Sunny skies today. 10% chance of rain. High uh, of around 72. Chili, do I need to do anything more uh, with? Well, I'm good. The answer is going to be yes. Uh, you could always do more. Do I need to do anything more specifically <laughs> about people coming down to play Chubby Bunny tomorrow? Can, no, can I, we got a, a lot of submissions, so I'm in, I'm in the process of emailing people to see who can make it and who cannot. Okay, so we're going to have four contestants in studio? Yes, we have four. So I'm do you feel, waiting on a backup just in case. That's what, uh, that was going to be my, my question. Do you feel confident in the four people have they sworn up and down that they are going to be here or do you need to get an alternate they have but that stinks if the alternate comes and we don't use them well yeah well luckily there was one that i know that works nearby Uh uh-huh so it's going to be around the area so that's my safety net okay so just in case just in case tomorrow 7 20 chubby bunny in studio yes okay hey chili stay right there I got nowhere else to go, man. Okay. (laughs) So, they asked adults, 2,000 adults, what animal would you want to see in the wild? Oh. What animal, what would be your number one, not in the zoo, to actually see in its own environment? I would say a silverback gorilla. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, I think, because I, I know everybody wants to see a lion, a tiger, and all that stuff, but I feel like a silverback gorilla would be what I would, I'm a, I'm a, not obsessed with them, but I'm like, dude, I like them, you know? Did you see that? There was a, somebody at a zoo recently, they were in uh It was a yeah. Dallas one. I think Fort it was a Dallas, oh, Fort Worth, yeah. They were in the environment, the enclosure of the silverback gorilla. We Jesus. almost had a Harambe. Yeah, again. somebody right. somebody forgot to lock the door, yeah, and yeah, he yeah. got out, and they were like, oh, crap. Um, Tessa, I mean, you've ever gone whale watching? I was about to say, on say, land or nah. on sea? In their environment. So I'm Kill saying, whale. If, if I saw like a blue whale, and I'm telling you, right, it was like a religious experience. I believe you. It was a, off the coast of uh, Rhode Island. And there was the it's whale country, the whale, and then the, the little baby whale, which was as big as our. I mean, this thing could have like tipped our boat over. Yeah, that's my only apprehension about the killer whale because I know they don't like they. Oh, this is killers. this is double, triple size of a killer whale. No, this no, is no. the blue whale. I'm telling you, I know. I'm, so the killer whale is mine. The killer whale is mine. And what you what are your? Oh, you're worried about what they're like? They're well, not yeah, going to be chill they, because well, they like kind of know that some humans are bad, and so they've been attacking some boats like off like the coast, like they like the fishing boats and stuff. They've they've tipped some. They're, they're really smart. Yeah, they're they're like getting smarter. They're like AI, like they're evolving. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are they? <laughs> yeah. So, but they're, that's my favorite animal, hands down. I'm like, I think it's so majestic. Have you gone to see them in captivity? You know, like at SeaWorld or something like that. When I was little, when I was little. But the best documentary I've ever seen is a Blackfish documentary, and I'm not interested in that anymore, ever, ever again. That was an eye-opening. Whale came in at number five. Uh, I don't even see Chili Silverback Gorilla. It can't get much better than a lion. Lion with that huge mane, like the big paws and the fangs. A lion. What about an elephant? Alex, what's yours? Elephants are, just, animal, elephants are too I, chill. Just in general? To see in no, the no, no. wild. To see in the wild? What you would like to see, if you could choose any animal to any see. Any animal to see wild would be sharks breaching. Like, I could, like if you just gave me 20 oh, hours of Shark Week one. where sharks are just jumping up eating those fake seal things that they drive behind boats, I would watch that all day. And I would never say a word. I would just sit and just be in awe. <laughs> Is that better than a lion? They just are like jumping up apex, in the air eating. They're both eating apex things. predators, you know what I mean? So a shark would tear up a lion. Top 10 animals people want to see in the wild. Elephant was number one. Elephant? I'm in. Elephants I'm, are badass. In the wild, so, that'd be sick. They're so massive. Yeah. There's a sanctuary in Freds- Fredericksburg. I want to go. Tiger in at two. Dolphin at three. Lion at four. Whale. There you go, Tessa. All the whales. Dolphins. There's so many in Galveston. Yeah. 
Giant panda. Eh. Giraffe. Boring, right? Panda. Boring. Do you, ever, do you ever feed a giraffe? You can at the Houston Zoo. I've never done it. It's awesome. They yeah, tons. their tongues are just and wild, I, right? And I did it at some crazy, crazy Carl's Wild Emporium or whatever. Where I took the kid and you feed him in your car oh, and the car gets trashed. Cool. I don't know what it's called. Uh, they got a, I mean, the tongue is like wild. Yeah. But they love lettuce. Yeah. Kale. Or uh, I'm sorry. Romaine. Romaine lettuce. You're right. Giraffe in at seven, penguin at six. Oh, that's a good one. Polar bear at nine, kangaroo at ten. Kangaroo so, would be wild. No silverback I've, gorilla. I've seen the kangaroo sanctuary. I've been to the, one of those. In Australia? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty, a dog. I like the koalas personally uh, better. Yeah. Could you walk around? Yeah. Or you had to be in your car? How does it work with the, uh, no, with we the sanctuary? No, we were on foot, and we could do uh, baby ones. But no, kangaroos can actually, they can be kind of aggressive. So yeah. we had to be away from them. But yeah. The Koala Sanctuary was, I thought, a lot cooler. Man, just as I'm getting in the wheelhouse of all this stuff, my the elephant guy, my guy left the zoo. He took a job somewhere else. Oh. So I have no more connection. Oh, well, t- talk to me. I know some Houston Zoo people. Oh, you got connections? I think so. I think so. I got to get some behind the scenes stuff going on with my kid. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, Feast, well, do, don't we do like Feast with the Beast and stuff every now and then? I don't think they're doing that anymore. Dang it. Well, if they are, we weren't involved last time. Okay. We definitely weren't involved we need to last change time. That. We need to change that. Yeah, we're I animal agree. people. I agree. Here we go. 94.5, the buzz. Green Day, basket case. Rod Ryan show. All right, what are you giving away on Know the Show today? These are Joe Centriani tickets with Steve Vai at 713 Music Hall. And, yep, tickets are on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. All right, we will have a question for you on the flip of this break, so stay right there.
want to talk about the Prime Way Federal Credit Union best checking account. Best checking account in Houston, okay? It gives you so many perks. Um, if you use your debit card a lot, you won't have to pay fees on this because that those swipes get you a free checking account We uh, that fee waived. And then this is a credit union that really wants to help out its members. So that's why they offer all these extras, peace, protection, Dark web monitoring, mobile phone protection, shopping rewards, travel and leisure discounts, telehealth, and so much more. So if you want to check out complete details, all you have to do is go to primewayfcu.com. It's easy online application. You can get your account open right now. It's the best checking account in Houston at Primeway Federal Credit Union. Primewayfcu.com.
downtown traffic on 69 between Lorraine and Fannin is at a half hour delay. There is an accident that's just cleared on the South Loop, Westbound at Almeda and FM 521. It's still some stop and go from Crestmont, but it's under a five minute delay. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety four five the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan show. Getting ready to get out of here. Uh, we got those Joe Satriani Steve Vai tickets for you, May fifth, seven one three Music Hall. I just saw them online. They were doing they might be doing some covers. They're jumping on stage together, they're playing separately. I mean, these are two of the greatest guitar players of all time, so it's uh it's a specialty show, but it's going to be packed at the 713 Music Hall with a bunch of guitar heads. Um, so for a pair of tickets, what are you asking? I'm asking what people reach out to Rod with information that Alex possibly wants because, I don't know, it could be a good way to earn some side cash. It's a fetish, but we don't want to shame. Yeah, okay. Uh, 713-212-5945 if you know the show.
94.5 The Buzz, New Pearl Jam, Dark Matter. Rob Ryan show on this Tat Tuesday. Number one link today, links and guests. Um, the world famous Rod Ryan show page at thebuzz.com. Now, looking at girls' blog page did very, very well today. There's a story. I think we've all heard this before, but it was, I don't know why they revisited this. Tommy Lee once trashed Pam Anderson's $1 million trailer on the set of Baywatch because she had a kissing scene with somebody. He was that jealous. Yeah, I think sounds they, about right. I think he they kind nuts. of portrayed that a little bit in the movie. They were both crazy. Yeah, of course. But, but he was super crazy. I'll agree with you on that. And, uh, yeah, he trashed her trailer. All she did was kiss somebody on camera. It was a like part for work, for work, like for money. Yeah, yeah. He would come on the set, and they said and it was just, just miserable. chaos. Yeah, it make everyone's life miserable. He was chaos. He had chaos written like where Tupac yeah, had his tattoo. That was tattoo. like his thing, right? He had chaos written like over, like around his belly button. Yeah, he is chaotic. Yeah, very uh, sunny skies today. Ten percent chance of rain. Highs of around seventy-two. Uh, good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Morning, brother. Hey, who's this? This is Dustin. Simply Dustin. Is there any other way? Yes, sir. How are you today? <laughs> I'm doing great. How are y'all doing? Meh. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta get out of here. I've been kind of battling something all morning. I know that you don't really He's care. He's fighting but demons inside. Uh, I am fighting demons inside. Demons? I don't oh, know. like stomach some, demons. Just a bug. I don't know. I got. I haven't been. Uh, I didn't want to complain about it all morning long. I just. I haven't been sick in a long, long time. And I woke up. I was like, Oh boy, this ain't gonna be good today. Uh, let's see if we can get you out of here uh, with some uh, a pretty good prize here. What's your question? Hey, Dustin, uh, tell me who reached out to Rod that said, Hey, look, if you need any information, I've got it. And then we were talking, and Alex was like, You know what? I might need some of that information for this. You know, we don't. We don't want to kink shame but it's a fetish it is uh pictures of grass grapplers or feet pics grass grapplers also grass known grapplers. as feet pics i'm like when he said that i go oh god can i just go home what is that the hell is a grass grappler <laughs> jesus christ dustin i don't have time for you funny business just, just give me the damn answer. Shopping so witty. You get the tickets to Joe Santriani and Steve Vai because you know the show. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Rod, I hope you get to feeling better. Thanks, bro. Alex, everybody, I hope you all have a great weekend. You too, bud. Thanks, Dustin. Thank you. Alex has brought up Feet Finder and maybe getting his wife's feet on the internet for you know some uh, income over there. And... I feel like it's kind of a bit. He's kind of half joking about it. Oh no, I would not. <laughs> but I feel like there's I've seen the money in this. But I feel like you're half serious about it too. Yeah, I am because <laughs> there's a lot of money in this. What does she say? No, I Just don't flat want to out? do this. Is That's it, gross, Alex. Is it like not now? Like hit me with this later. Is it or is it just a no? I'm never doing it. She just says no and then just makes fun of me for bringing it up. And she's like, "Use your feet." I was like, "I don't have the feet you have." Yeah. Nobody wants my feet. I have nice feet. Yeah, you yeah. Wanna, hmm. I have nice feet. Because you're always hiding them from the world. Yep, they're like a baby's bottom. Yeah, they're like baby feet. Uh, you can I mean, make some money on this. Though. They're size 13 baby feet. Mm -mm -mm. They have never ever stepped on a rock mm -mm. or any rough surface. <laughs> they're wonderful. I could step on a dime and tell you if it's heads or tails. <laughs> <laughs> but can you spread those toes? I don't know. I need to check. Take off your shoes. No, no. Nobody sees my feet. I'm. I know what I'm doing after the show. <laughs> Untying my shoes? No. Yeah. You're weak right now. I'll push your I ass am. down. Oh, I'm so weak right now. Josh the goat. <laughs> hey, Josh the goat got back into the Hall of Fame. I think twelve times. I think it's, it's twelve times. Twelve yeah. times. Twenty years. Twelve times he's been in the Hall of Fame. Um, wow. There's four people that have made it into the Hall of Fame. So we'll start with some brand new people tomorrow in homeroom. Uh, we play that game at around 620. Corn is coming to town. That was the big concert announcement. We'll, we'll continue giving away corn tickets. The show is October 20th, Woodlands Pavilion. Tickets go on sale this Friday. We like to give them to you before they go on sale. Uh, shout out to weirdos that buy one banana. That's me. I, I don't know that there's more of you. Message me if you're have out Have you there. ever seen somebody just in line at... Trader Vicks with one, Trader Joe's with one banana? Are you the only one? My friend Stephanie used to do it. 
She says so. You've never seen no, it. No, I've seen I'm with her. We like both had our single bananas in line. How about Chili Brown today, guys? <laughs> yeah, Bravo! The Bravo. real star. How about Chili Brown? Bravo. All right. Um, Wild Card Wednesday is tomorrow. Chubby Bunny live in studio. Chili says he's got four contestants. Um, so it's uh, it's just part of our big spring showcase this week as uh, we had a big meeting on the air yesterday. Need golf sponsors. I need all kinds of help with the golf tournament still. Uh, if you have a business, maybe it, you have uh, like a, sh- a small business here and you want to sponsor a hole. I'd love that, man. I'd love to talk about you on the radio and talk about how great you are and how cool and awesome your place is. And if you make stuff, I need stuff for the auction. Where's our artists? Where's our yeah. artists and, and crafty ears? Yeah. What do you call people that make crafts? Crafters. Artisans. Crafty ears? Artisans. Crafties. Artisans? Yes. Where are they? I need you. Etsy babies. Tess is on uh, Houston Live at 1 o'clock. Um, New episode of Pass the Gravy coming out early tonight. Oh, early. What do you got going on? Um, our producer Robert's birthday is tomorrow, so we're giving him the day off, so we're going to record today. What a fair boss you are. Look, look at me. Okay, well, Jeremy's up next. He's got the nonstop nooner. Uh, pick your tickets with him in the 1 o'clock hour. Guys, have an awesome day, man. I can't wait to have people in studio. Hopefully, I'll be feeling a little bit better, uh, but it's going to be fun. I, I, I'm i going to want to have people in the studio all the time after tomorrow. So start coming up. <laughs> We're going to have listeners. Come up with games where people can come inside and help. We'll have listeners sipping soup and everything Hell else yeah. in here. All right, that's it. Jeremy wants in. Guys, we're on a 20-hour break. AMF.